Hey guys, welcome back to Frostpunk. And like I said, I'm going to be doing all the scenarios. Uh, so next time, next up, we're doing arcs here. Uh, and the first thing I'll mention before we kind of get started is, I, you know, I, I haven't been LPing for like a good year and a half, uh, maybe almost two years, I'd say. And when I always start something up, I always kind of try and gear it to kind of different kinds of audiences. So in this case, it was like, okay, people who've never played Frostpunk or seen it, people who kind of played it casually, and the people who kind of, you know, do a lot of stuff with it and, and know a lot about it kind of thing. I always try to have something for everybody in the video. So, you know, at the beginning I was like, oh, here's what the lore is, here's the, how to play the game. And I was hoping that some people might like reinstall it or something <laughs> that at least or, or give it another shot. Uh, the people who kind of like played a little bit casually, I try and go more into the strategy, like why I pick certain things, why people pick certain things and ways of going. And then the, the last group, there's usually not a whole lot of people that are like really into the games and also looking up the videos I find of, of different LPs I do. But usually I try to put something in for them where I'm doing some kind of like weird strategy or something just memeing around or something. Uh, there is a lot more people who like Frostpunk than I thought. I won't even lie. Uh, it was actually really, really re refreshing to see actually. I thought it, I, like I thought this was just an indie game where I, it's not like so indie that nobody's ever heard of it, but I thought it was like sort of in the middle where, you know, there's some people who did play it and some people did it. And generally people, generally speaking, it would be something that's new for a lot of people, but no, a lot of people really, really like this game. And I'm very happy about that. It's a really great game. So I'm very, very, <laughs> you, you, you've humbled me guys. I, I'm going to say that right now. Uh, but I had a lot of feedback with different strategies, uh, particularly Kant. Kant yelled at me in my uh, DMs and told me that uh, several things. <laughs> One of the pr primary things is uh, not to do uh, the ring upgrades and instead to do Steam Hub upgrades. I'm sure we'll have a chance for that a little bit later to, to do more of that. But I thought that was funny. Um, so he said that I should be doing Steam Hub because that's way more uh, efficient on coal than uh, the ring. I like the ring upgrades though. They're like, it feels generator -y, but you know, I don't know. He, he yelled at me. He, call he calls himself the master of lore. What an ego on that asshole. Anyways, so... We're doing arcs. Um, oh yeah, and there was also there was also another guy who was uh, talking about uh, what was it the 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 wood to coal conversion building, which I immediately dismissed. I won't even lie, but I didn't try it actually. I guess really on some of these campaigns, so I, I won't be doing it on arcs, but I may give it a shot at refugees or something. But the thing we should probably go through actually is yeah. So we just finished main, uh, a new home, which is the main story, which is about. I mean, we did it. We we knocked it out of about four hours, but. If you're doing it for the first time, it might actually take, it'll probably take you twice that because you'll restart like once or twice, depending on what difficulty you play on. You'll restart once or twice and you'll get like a couple playthroughs maybe to do like some achievements and stuff like that. So there's actually probably a decent bit of content, but then they have these scenarios going all the way down. Uh, without spoiling too many of them, uh, well, this one you probably know because Winter Home was in the new home. So you kind of get the idea of what happens there. Uh, Last Autumn is more of like a prequel and uh, these are these two are like DLC ones essentially, and on the edge is like a sequel uh, kind of a thing. So the, these ones, these are they, they're all pretty cool. Uh, Arcs and refugees are technically speaking isolated storylines and scenarios kind of a thing. Now, the weird thing is they're probably not canon. They haven't actually said that in Eleven Bit Studios if they are canon or not. I assume they're not. It's it's kind of left up to the viewer to see that because. A lot of the stuff they go in a new home is like the trailer says, let's build the last city on Earth kind of a thing, which kind of defeats the purpose of these two being cities. But these are all supposedly canon because Winter Home dies, as you know. Last Autumn, it depends. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that, obviously, when we get there. But these two are probably not canon, but doesn't prevent them from being any good. We'll see. I mean, I, I guess Frostmunk 2 will answer that uh, if they are canon. I, I would like them to be canon. They're actually really cool. Arcs is, I would say, my favorite out of all the campaigns, and which which there's a favorite, there's obviously a least favorite. <laughs> New Home's New Home is like the middle for me. It's actually New Home I like for the atmosphere and the story. It's more like survival based, which we'll get another really good one like that with Last Autumn. Last Autumn does that also really really well. Uh, but for Arcs, Arcs is not so much survival as in like you'll see the themes. I don't want to spoil the themes for you, but they. They kind of diverge a little bit from what you're kind of used to, which is like, it is still that whole, that awesome atmosphere of like despair and hopelessness and cold wintry stuff. But it, I don't know, it's, it's pretty cool. You guys will like it. Uh, so without further ado, I guess we'll get going. 
it's also likely also I'm going to say the easiest one, but I'm going to also keep it on hard just for now because I, I thought to myself a lot with the last one, I'm like, well, I kind of breezed through it. Maybe I should play it on extreme, but I'm like, no, 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 because we're, we're kind of we're kind of chilling. We're having a good time. We're explaining stuff. Let's not. And especially because even though this is the easiest one, there is going to be a really hard one that I do not want to play on extreme. So we're, we're going to keep it to hard. Okay, as you notice that there is no actual intro movie for this one. They didn't make one for every single one of them. There's basically an intro movie for like, uh, I think like four of them, and that's it. So these two, the next two scenarios, do not have intro movies. You also notice that the music is kind of reused. Uh, they don't really use a lot of the suspenseful music, I, I think I've noticed. Uh, I guess we'll see, but they didn't make any new scores or anything for it. Because New Home is like the, the main storyline. This is like more of like a side thing. So anyways, here we go. The Seedling Arcs. We've been chosen to safeguard a priceless tre treasure, the seeds and seedlings of plants all over the world. They've been deposited in seedling arcs to prevent them from freezing, but it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends, however long that may be. The only way to do this is with automatons. We'll, <laughs> we'll ensure the green earth is reborn even if we aren't there to witness it. So, uh, while well, I, I alluded to it right away, this is a heavily automaton-focused scenario. Uh, especially with the in the background, the, the, there's just one over there, which is I, I mean, th this is cool. I like the whole setting of this whole thing. I'm not sure why they're not just riding it, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get to get to see. So, there's a lot of inspiration for this scenario, uh, based upon uh, if you've ever heard of it, it's actually based upon the Salvard Sea Storage. If you've ever heard of it, it's like a, it's up in like uh, it's a, it's a Norwegian place, it's in like permafrost, and they store like a bunch of seeds there. That's he heavily inspired a lot of the scenario, as well as the uh. If you've ever heard the story of the Siege of Leningrad, there was, the, there was some botanists that apparently boarded themselves up in a seed storage building and, uh, and starved to death without, and they didn't eat the seeds because the seeds were extremely important for like, uh, I think like genetic diversity, I think is what it was, for like the seeds and potato plants for the crops in like the next year or something. So like two botanists bore themselves up and like protected the seeds and did not eat them and starved to death, which was really neat. So, well, well not, not neat, but you get it. And that was that was like way back World War Two kind of thing. But if you if you gotta read into the stories, it's actually really cool. And you like, I don't know. I, I like the I like the sciency bit of this kind of uh, scenario, which is why it's my favorite one. Not just because it's the easiest one. <laughs> easiest one is just a just a side thing for it. So, so we've reached a generator site, and seedlings are safely stored in seedling arcs. And this, sorry, the whole thing is about factory plants here. We are supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city can run itself in, in no matter the weather. But the transport carrying the factory plants was lost in the blizzard. We need to build a beacon, send a team to search for it. So, this is one of the scenarios where building uh, rushing a beacon is actually the key. So we're going to actually pause it right away as we get into it. So we do start with an automaton, uh, which is really cool. They all have names. <laughs> I actually didn't show you kind of like this interface where we're seeing the names. This is the Heavy Caledonian. And, and obviously you can see the people in the cities and the fact they're alone. Their home is literally the, the generator and uh, the temperature and home chili. So the, the, the generator does count as a home. Uh, <laughs> so let's go do. So here's your, here's your seedling arcs right there. They got a nice little graphic for it. So it helps co uh, contain seeds and seedlings from across the world that will help us rebuild the uh, world in the future. Keep the building at least chilly and the seeds inside will, um, or the seeds inside will start to freeze beyond recovery. Which is, I'm not sure how, I, I'm not, I'm not much of a botanist. I'm not sure how accurate that is. I'm, I, I thought like freezing it would be, I don't know, okay. But I guess, I guess for the sake of the game, that's kind of how it works. And we're going to start our first, uh, well, actually, before we start uh, setting a law, I'm going to show you a little something. So this this one starts with actually 45 engineers and one automaton. So you have like a weird 36 number of kind of employ unemployed workers. This number for 45 does not increase really throughout the scenario, at least for engineers. There is something that kind of happens a little later that will increase the number and plus you get more automatons. But generally speaking, it's a scenario where you're low on like manpower and, and, and kind of workers for everything and there is no children if you've noticed so you don't get children i can guarantee you that and the reason why is because you can't pick child labor it's completely gone so without that being our obvious first choice uh we're gonna go straight into emergency shift so this does mean if you are playing this scenario and you lose someone like once or twice probably worth restarting the scenario actually because yeah you don't want to you don't want to lose people in this so 
Yeah, but it's it. People are a very finite resource, and you need everybody you can kind of get. So yeah, well, I'll just leave it at that. So to kind of start this off, what I'm going to do is, and this is, I have a very particular build order for this, and, and bear with me. I'm going to put the automaton on the wood over here. Um, we're going to put uh, people, max people on the steel over there. And I think what I'm going to do is we're going to start by building a workshop, except I cannot. Oh, right. Yes. There's a reason I can't build this. So uh, we did get to, we did really do this in the last scenario. But we can do this, and I'll kind of show you kind of the plan to this. So you kind of get a good idea of, well, it, it's what it was. <laughs> there's, a, there's a love and hate of this mechanic, uh, let me tell you, and I'll, I'll kind of tell you about it. So there's actually a lot of roads on this map, and all, <laughs> a lot of them are completely unnecessary roads. So you can't actually strip them out right at the beginning of the map. If you're playing on, like, Survivor, you can't pause the game, so you have to be kind of like a ninja about it. But what you can do, and, and I'll kind of ex roughly explain how this kind of goes if you're trying to do it yourself. So it will snap at certain places where like, it's it's essentially like you get half the amount of wood back for how much these woods cost. So this road, for example, would have been like four wood, but I'm getting two back for it. But since I start the scenario with the wood, it's like free wood for me. So you want to kind of stop it at a place it snaps at. So I don't want to just go here and just like pick a place here. I You see how it like snapped right away to four? So we go four and keep going down and then when it snaps to that there's another four see and and yeah we could go all the way down to two and there you go so we could actually just remove a bunch of roads that we seemingly do not need but we want to we want to try to make it snap to something because if we make it snap to something we're getting like the max amount of wood we can from it we're trying to be we're trying to we're sweating right now you could feel the cheetos coming down my neck beard right now this is the this is this is what we're, this is what's come to. So you're you're just trying to find like snapping locations, and uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what we're planning on doing here. So the roads I'm tearing apart are actually extremely intentional, and you'll see in a minute here what I'm doing. So I'm going to do five here. Okay. So I left. So the seedlings do actually have to be connected to the generator by roads, or else they start freezing automatically. Despite the fact that they're uh, livable uh, right now they're not they're not even chilly right now so you have to keep it above chilly for the seedlings not to free freeze they don't freeze immediately so don't panic you actually have lots of time to deal with like the, the freezing situation so don't panic so much about the seedlings and go like oh, i need to build a bunch of infrastructure about it no 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 you don't need to do that uh so you just need to be just connect them by road and you'll be fine uh and the other thing i kind of didn't do last time is i didn't really show i guess in new home where resources were so we have two coal patches there's nothing up here at all. There's a lot of wood here if you want to do sawmills, but uh, don't do sawmills. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, there's two two steel places here, and there's one wood place, and I don't think there's anything over here. Uh, and you'll also notice that there is no outpost locations. Uh, there are no outposts in this scenario, so that's also something you do not have to account for. So I'm going to start by making... Well, actually, I'll start by showing you something. You guys want to see the literal definition of blue balls? Here, let me show you the literal definition of blue balls. See these nice four patches? And there is, there, as far as I know, there is no way of connecting this. You cannot connect all of them, all four of these. So this coal patch right here is actually isolated, completely isolated, because you have, you have like three wood here, two steel there, and like two wood and a coal there, right? It's, this one's like the most worthless patch I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I could go gathering posts like right here. So these ones I can get if I wanted to build one here, but we won't be building one for these two steel patches. Uh, we could make it right here, right? But like, there's no way to hook up all, all four of these together. So we essentially just this this coal one. We just leave it. We don't even bother with it. It's 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 worthless. <laughs> it's a total waste of time. So we don't bother with it. But we will be making a workshop immediately. So that's the first thing we do, and as well, I'm going to put down one gathering post somewhere here. So this one is really nice because you can you can put it like right next to this guy, and gets all four of these, and you can just hook up one little road. So you're noticing why I intentionally kind of like tore up the roads I did. So I'll show you again. I kept that that one. I keep this one up here, going a little bit up there because I'm going to grab these patches. To be fair, I actually don't even need. I don't even need this here because I actually don't bother with these two at all. And that's it. That's all the roads you have. And I keep the road 
I keep the road here because that's going to go to the wood, and this one's going to go to the two coal patches over here, and that's it. That's that's all we do. That's all we do for the snare. It's it's quite straightforward. So we can play the snare. I don't think there's anything else we have to do. Yeah. So it's a little bit of setup, which is a, uh, you know, go. It is what it is. So if you want, you can just hard save it after you do it. So yeah, there we go. I have one called fucking coal. <laughs> there. You go. All right. This load is very aptly named. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> so. Um, Remember to get coal. So there's a very particular build order I do here, and when I don't do it, I get really, I get really antsy, and I'm like, man, I really want to, I really want to do it again. So it's a good thing, a good thing to save over here, honestly, because that second day is a, is a, is a doozy. I'll say, especially with the build I'm doing here. So there's a particular order I'm doing, and uh, we'll go into it in a minute. But uh, <laughs> some mistakes were made, so I did load it just now. Uh, so, anyways. Preserve the seedlings. Uh, we must we must ensure that the seedling arcs don't freeze. All the seedlings that made the tropical seeds are very sensitive to cold. If the temperature in any seedling arc falls below chilly for too long, its precious contents will be irreversibly damaged. I see. So let's go start making stuff. So the automaton, in terms of its 60% efficiency, you do have to remember that automatons work 100% of the time, which is really great. Even when they go refuel, they're actually still technically working. Which is sort of a weird, interesting thing that kind of the game does, because uh, they're because he counts as working right now. He's gathering wood right now, which is really amazing. So when he when you kind of think about the bath, like they're just like there's just I think about five percent better than a shift working. Uh, what is it like fourteen hours? So like that would be ten hours of sleep, fourteen hours working. So that he's just slightly better than that because he's sixty percent. But obviously they get like a bunch of efficiency upgrades. So all hail the uh, automatons. Let's just go with that. So the thing we're gonna be paying attention for is the steel to go to 40, and I'll explain why in a second. So first things first, we need to get that research for the beacon right away. Beacon requires 35 steel, pay attention to that. That's part of that 40 steel I'm trying to save up for. The other five is for another gathering post that we're gonna get a little later. So th that was kind of the mistake I did. I kind of kept them on an, on steel the entire time, and I'm like, oh, I don't have enough coal. I'm like, oh, that's why. <laughs> so it, it's one of those things, you kind of get into like a, a habit of of where you put people and, and things like that. So you gotta be very on the ball. And Survivor is basically like that. You get a build going, and when the build is like every single point you feel like you barely just hit something, like some bo bo uh, bottleneck or something, that's when you're like, okay, this is a good build. So I just took these two guys off of steel. I'm gonna put one on the shitty coal patch and one on the wood. You might as well put it onto this coal patch because like the, this coal patch is worthless otherwise, so. We're just doing that for the rest of the night. We mostly want the, a, a little bit more coal and a little bit more wood, so we'll just keep them going. And that's fine. And when we get to about 17 hours, we'll go. Also, keep this guy on wood until he refuels for the first time, for a good reason. Honestly, try it yourself, and you're going to notice he's going to not be working if he goes refuels and he switches uh, task. So it's really, really annoying when they do that. Like, super annoying. <laughs> so pay attention to that. Absolutely pay attention to that. It's just some oddities about the game, because I do want to move him to this gathering post when I get the chance. So I'm going to turn on the generator. And as soon as they kind of quit working for the day... Oh, also, we're going to... We're, I almost forgot to, to, to emergency shift this one. <laughs> we did have an emergency shift. This is our one emergency shift, so we're going to put them on there. Just as just as the horn was sounded, we put them on emergency shift. That one's a very important one, because we, we need to get that beacon out ASAP. So there's our first... Uh, little building there and we're actually don't think we're gonna make anything else yeah we're, we're just saving at this point hey what's going on uh so no roof over our heads uh people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter they're falling ill from sleeping outside it's terrible cold you better do something about it i will provide some shelter so you could overdrive the generator overnight uh, i'm not gonna even bother you will you will understand why tomorrow so just let this guy go do his first uh refueling cycle so he's gonna go over do his thing I'm going to move these engineers, though, to start, so they're going to be over there now. Alright, so beacon's done. We can go place that down. I'm going to place it way out in the middle of the cold, because whatever. Alright, there you go. We can go. Oh, we also need to give another research. The, the next one, it doesn't really matter. You kind of need steel, heaters, and steam hub in whatever order you want. Um, I'm just going to work on steel workshop first, just because... Leave that be. So as soon as the as soon as he's done, I think he's done now, right? Looks like he's done. Alright, we take him off of here, we put him onto here. So there you go. He's fueled, ready to go, and now he's working at the, the big gathering post, which also is getting some coal for us now too. We could also divert the people back from 
the two places I put them, so put them back on the steel. Reason being is because uh, we actually don't need any more coal or, well, we will need wood, but it's not important right now. Okay, new law, and the first thing we do is extend the shift. So with that, all our workplaces, you might as well just put them all to, to maximum work time, because that's like adding more time for it, so. I'm not going to quite do anything with the beacon yet, so we're no longer blind. For now on, our, uh, sorry, from now on our people will be able to survey the key, uh, for, uh, the uh, icy barrens, and that's around this frost land. Sorry, I'm like, my brain is farting. Uh, this is going to be just a situation where we're just following the yellow dots, uh, but we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Alright, where did I complain about? Storm on the horizon. So, this one doesn't even, like, beat around the bush. Uh, Captain. With the beacon operational, we can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. It's still some distance away. We'd better keep an eye on it and make sure we set up infrastructure needed to heat the arcs before it hits. So we already have the storm. Like, the storm is, like, way out in the distance there, so... We already have to deal with that. So we got 10 hours left on the generator. You notice I didn't even overheat it. I guess I could just send them out right now. So let me show you a little pro-gamer move. I hope that this is these are going to be all the sick that we get. So people who are sick, now you kind of notice, oh, Mike, you didn't have a tent, you dumbass, or whatever that you want to tell me. So not so dumb. What you can do, actually, is people who are actually sick, so you can actually see where they are. You can actually see them uh, on the kind of menu here, and you can see where they're sick at. So I could say dismiss this guy, dismiss this guy, and we take another two out from wherever, and then maybe one out from here. So that's that's five people unemployed, and we send them out as scouts, and we just go right away. So we ju we've just effectively sent out our sick people, which means we didn't actually need a medical tent on the first day, uh, because we're gonna go. Now, <laughs> you might be calling me out on my innovative strategy, and also some people might say, is this guy going to, yeah, he's going on an expedition, so, he's went so they just left. So they're, ta-da, no more sick. That requires a little bit of explanation of what's going on internally in the game. So they're still sick. They're just on an expedition and that timer is paused. So they have like a timer where like they're they're sick, then they're gravely ill, and then they die, right? So they're not gonna die on the expedition and they're not gonna become gravely ill, they're just gonna be sick. And and when they get back, that timer resumes, is what happens. What used to happen is that if you accidentally sent someone out to basically go on an expedition, that timer would still tick, and then the minute you bring them back into town, they'd immediately die. And people were like, what the hell is going on? So that's what they did. They, they now pause the timers. So it's not really abusable, uh, except for this one scenario where I sent them out on the first day and I didn't have to make a medical po outpost, which is really cool. Uh, so it doesn't kill them anymore, I believe. I, I think some people still kind of think there is a glitch with it, but I, I don't think I've ever had it happen. So, But you can totally do that. You can you can reassign people and send the sick people out, and, and perfectly fine. Why not, you know? So, really, really, really happy about that. That one's a really nice one. Alright, so we got our steelworks done. We're gonna keep the... We don't need that. Uh, I'll do steam pump next. So, yeah, like I said, there's a, there's a particular build going here, and we're gonna let these two kind of go. So they should be able to finish this out, like, throughout the day, and that's it. And I'm gonna have to make sure I switch over this to 24 hours when I get the chance. We can also start building some other things, so... Are we going to need food right now? I don't know. Uh, we, we don't need food on the first day. I don't think we need food, so... We are going to make a bunch of tents, though. And we are we are going to have to make that medical tent, though. As long as nobody's going to go build it, we're fine. Okay. It's fine. Well, actually, let's 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 wait on it, because this might finish. I might put them on something else, just so they gather a little bit more resources to end it. It's at 20 hours. They, they should be able to finish it out. They usually can. If they can't, then... Uh, Three, two, uh oh, not looking good, my friends. Oh, uh, that's probably because I uh, didn't have a I didn't have a full compliment there. What are they doing? Going to go rest. Well, oh, uh, okay, did finish. Thank goodness, we're good. Just just in the nick of time, it just finished. All right, we got another lot of sign. Uh, so what we're gonna do this time is we have soup versus food additives. I really don't think sawdust is as bad as people make it out to be. Everybody complains about sawdust, but I don't think sawdust is bad. I think it's the I think the illness is manageable, especially on this scenario where it's not so heavy based upon people as much. I don't think it's as bad. I I, I think it's fine. I've used it plenty of times and I've won. I guess it, it's either or. But I guess there's not a whole lot of discontent on the scenario either, so technically speaking, soup is probably better. I uh, fine, I'll do soup. Let's do soup then. I'm sure I'll have a time for the other one at some point, so. Uh, so we got rid of both of those. I'm gonna put, throw up another gathering post over here. Do I want another gathering post? Yeah, I think I do. 
I actually don't need the... We don't need that. One over there, and let's have a look. I need to go put down the medical post, and also the two tents, otherwise they're gonna kill me. Oh, and also I just realized that I never finished out the research there, so... Or sorry, uh, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't switch over the workshop to something else. I kind of want to. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna scrap that. I'm gonna make two more workshops. It's more important to me than coal, believe it or not. Uh, just one more workshop, I guess. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So first, first one. He's gone to the abandoned supply, steel, and steam cores. So supplies covered in snow and ice. They seem to be undamaged. We'll have to dig them out to be sure. Recover treasure. We spent hours. Hacking out the ice to free our supplies, but we did it. We were forced to abandon them once. Doing it again would be unforgivable. There you go. And they're going to just kind of take it with them, I guess. So remember, we're trying to just follow the, the yellow path here. So there's a broken automaton here. Uh, so it's like a large snow doom covers a broken automaton that we had to leave behind during our journey for Britain. They did come They did come from, from a dreadnought, I believe. So I'm wondering if I actually need to have more coal. It's, it keeps saying like seven hours left. We can overdrive this night as well. This one, we, this one we actually can. We're gonna have a temperature drop for the next day. So, why are they coming over here? Oh, they're doing the road. That's why. Ultimate libertarian paradise. I kind of would like to make another workshop. How much more wood do I need? Just a little bit more. There we go. Did I not? I made two medical posts. How did I forget to do that? Let's auto. Let's go to the auto save. Okay, there we go. We still have it. Sorry, well, crisis averted. I I wondered why I had like so little. I don't even know what, how I, when I placed them. All right, anyways, <laughs> ignore that. Luckily, we had an auto save just as that that happened. This is why we don't play on Survivor, I guess. I'm like I'm like usually I have enough for all this stuff here. I'm like, why did I not have enough here? All right. There you go. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. A little bit of a, a little bit of a brain denial service attack over there. Let's go get a. Let's go get another uh, guy going here, and we can put this guy. Let's go. Let's go get some more workshops. So three is like the magic number, and people are getting hungry. But that we'll deal with that later. Unfortunately, it is the beginning of the day, and everyone's constructing things. Alright, let's turn off the auto drive. So we already have that. I, I, I figured I did something wrong there, but yeah, the good thing to know that was what it was. Alright, this is the least efficient run I've ever done, but arcs is easy, so there's no, no need to be concerned, fellas. No need to be concerned. Alright, I'm gonna just go for that heaters next, and then that will be good enough. Automaton. So we have an automaton. Automaton was left here when it broke down. Thankfully, we managed to dig it out and fix it. Now we can send this fully operational automaton to the city. Send it to the city. All right. And now, now you're kind of getting the idea of why we're kind of rushing all this stuff that you see here. So, and what we're gonna do next is I would like to do. I think I want to do food now. Yeah, working. I guess we're gonna work on this now. I kind of need to get the food going as well, so I kind of need to do that. So again, we'll do radical treatment, same as last time, so I don't have to re-explain those uh, ones. Radical treatment, I guess, is just better. And what I'll do is we don't need so many people on this, so we'll take some off. Switch it to soup because we want to get the most out of our resources and just throw them onto there. We're just rushing them all out, all the rations. We don't have enough food to make it last forever, so. And onto drawing board. So we kind of finished everything else here, and remember once again. There are no outposts as well on this level two, which is why you don't see the research for it. You don't get that either. And I don't think there's anything else missing for this map either, so. But that there is no outpost you have to worry about at all. There's no outpost stations or anything like that, so. We're pretty good on that. Oh, we can put this guy to 1600 hours. There we go. Done. Throw them onto this one. So, there we go. We got the most out of our rations. We have a bit of time before we need to do anything else with it, so. How many more houses are we missing? We're only five are homeless right now, so we'll go throw that down. So they're gonna be staying in tents for a little bit of time. We do want to get to those houses really fast, uh, but this is since this scenario doesn't really grow in people. These are actually all the houses we're ever gonna make in this. The other the other important thing is we don't actually get to a point where 
we ever would get to faith or order that doesn't appear in the scenario because it's a lot shorter of a scenario as well so our, our expedition's main vehicle left hopelessly wedged in the crevasse exploring it will be difficult but we have to find the factory plans that were on board uh, we're gonna call wood steel steam cores and there's a techno technology to acquire here so this is the lost dreadnought explorer dreadnoughts are really cool they're like kind of like land boats sort of a thing they're, re they're really cool technology actually they have in this universe which i really like the coal powered like boats are massive you know thing uh we were propelled down into the crevasse listening to the ominous sounds of ice cracking under under the weight of the steel behemoth after an hour or so of searching we find the document safe and retrieve the factory plans we must get to the city as soon as possible the weather is getting worse by the minute and we need automatons to se secure the city and seedling arcs before the storm hits take resources so we are gonna run this guy back is what we're gonna do because he does have a technology he basically gets free factories like really early on so excellent we can now start setting up automated infrastructure keeps the new york at safe temperature bring back the plans set up the factory increase the number of automatons to three hope rises all right so the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna make two steelworks buildings assuming i can make two steel how much more wood do we have left it's an important question to ask actually yeah we got a fair bit all right i will just do this one here. I don't know why. This, this kind of triggers me right here. Look at this. <laughs> Great. My my OCD is flaring up. So we're gonna we're gonna put some buildings in the back there. So yeah, the main one to finish here is this lovely research here of tier one. And like I said, the, the tier for factories goes really far down, and this is also something you're probably going to kind of ask in the back of your head. I guess we don't even see the technology right now, I just realized. We'll see it. We, we need the factory plans. That's that's what it is. I guess it's its way of forcing you to, to kind of use it, so. Uh, yeah, we put that back to regular hours. Yeah, okay. They're all they're all in proper hours. I just wanted to make sure that. So this one's going to go build. Yeah, they're, they're building right now. We don't need to put anyone on that right now, because we have an automaton coming in in 14 hours, so he, he'll be the one to do it. Steel is one of those really important things. So we have overcrowding, we're going to do that, because that's like the second most overpowered one, like I mentioned previously. So, there is that research where you can make automatons cheaper, but we're not really going to bother with that too much, because uh, well, that comes way too late. For us to make use because you have to weigh the advantages and disadvantages of like well do i get that technology now and then oh well do i wait for that technology you'd have to kind of rush up there right and it's like it's kind of not worth it if it made it like steam course cheaper then yeah maybe but no it's, it's like 20 percent cheaper it's not it's not that worth it so it's really not that worthwhile so the seedling arcs might freeze captain a few days the temperature will drop our seedling arcs will be in danger we have to keep them warm with heaters or steam hubs i see so in this case, it's starting to complain because it's it's you're now at the point where it's chilly. We already have heaters, so this one temperature drop will not matter to me. I'll just turn on, I'll just flip on the heaters and we're good. You get a couple of options for it. All right, scouts returned. They apparently beat the automaton here. Go figure. So we could go to all these mines and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just run back to the dreadnought and do the, these ones here actually. Or actually, maybe I should just do one that's close by. You know what? I will just do one that's close by because I could just I could just return to it actually because I could just do the ones that are nearby and just because like what's the point of getting all these resources if you don't just return them to the city immediately, right? Because <laughs> if it comes later on, that's like sure that's fantastic, but yeah. So the killin is apparently not as bad as I thought, but still seventy wood for one seventy on a place with only one well drill is like eh, kind of like meh. We're still good on coal because we have a lot of like a lot of patches of coal, so there's no rush for that. Uh, we don't do the sawmill like like typical. Over here, we can do bunk houses, which I, I think I'm just gonna try and skip to houses. We'll see. Hot houses is good for food, but I think I still have a fair bit of of stuff going on for that, so I might want to get heating upgrades. I'm just trying to think here. I I, I mean that the, the we have a lot of possibilities right now on what to do. So we could also do more scouts. That actually might not be the worst idea either because more scouts equals more resources. So I'm just kind of skimming through these right now and seeing what I want to do. I don't know, hothouse, let me see. Yeah, I think, yeah, oh, we'll do the hothouse. We kind of need to do that. So, oh yeah, yeah, that's one of the other technology that's missing. So you notice that there's here there's no uh, hunter's huts. So if you remember, I couldn't employ engineers at hunter huts. So I guess that's why they kind of took it out because 
I guess it's just a limitation of the engine. And well, of course they could just put it in, but they, they're just gone. That's this whole thing. But it is a very Steam Core heavy mission. You're supposed to make a lot of automatons, which I love automatons, as you may have noticed. So. <laughs> very big on that. So, all right, we're gonna throw down a wall drill here, and I'm gonna go hook it up to whatever I need to. So, it's starting to complain that about our Steam Core is here. I guess we're not going to do what I thought I was going to do, but I. I thought to myself we would be, we'd be doing things a little bit differently, but I don't, I don't think we are. All right, I need to go over here. So we're going to put a little road down, and I'm going to try and put this sort of in the middle here. That will come into play in a little bit, but we do want to have a steam vent there. We don't really need it right now. We're going to we have a little bit of time and technology to, to kind of get that to work the way I want it to. Here goes our first automaton. So because we're making the wall drill still, I'm going to just throw this one onto steel works and hopefully he's not going to do something dumb because we're still waiting for workers right now is he is he just strafing i just noticed he was strafing the corner there a little giga chat just in a little line there all right and we're gonna start the start this by making like i guess like three automatons we have like five steam cores so we're pretty good on that so i think three three is a pretty good number and we're gonna get another where's a it's another steel works we kind of need these yeah, so this one's kind of annoying because you can't actually put a road right beside it. You have to kind of like make it like s spike out there, which is a little bit weird. We got one sick, and so he's just going to sit on that and do his thing. We can now take him off, put him onto here. Damn it, this is what I hate. So he's going to go refuel, he's not going to do anything because he's annoying little... He's like just sitting around. This is the, what happens when you reassign them, and but before they fueled, which is super annoying. I just wanted to show you that's actually a thing. If you assign them and reassign them, then they might go for refuel, which is super irritating. <laughs> so. so what's his deal with this? Why is it only 20% going to go build? Alright, we'll let them build. It's kind of a waste of time, actually. I guess I should have done this uh, for the next day, because I don't really need this. Alright, now they're, now they're working. Alright, so now he's doing his thing, thank god. So we have our first steam up here. I'm going to put it from 6... Uh, just from 6 till 20, although I don't really need it right now, so maybe we'll just shut it off for now. Because uh, we don't even have a proper temperature drop, so. Fundamental research. So you guys have seen this one. I have to explain this one a little bit more here, so. So an engineer is asking for a day off to study the automaton closely. The automatons can be approved. They may be the pinnacle of our technology, but uh, but if we learned how to, how to, how to better uh, make them, we could surely learn how to make them better. If I take a closer look at any machine, I can adjust them to improve its in, in performance. Why should it, uh, why should it be any different with them? So, you should always tell them to carry on. With, uh, sorry, carry on with the project because you won't be able to work. If you tell them to get back to work and then you get an option later to uh, basically improve them, he'll die <laughs> effectively. So this is the this way he won't die from overworking. So that's why you always kind of do this one. So that's that's the one we do. So we let him go. He's he's happy and he's in another place, and we'll divert an engineer from over here. In fact, we don't really need this much coal, so what we can actually start doing is you want to get real sweaty. Dismiss. Dismiss. And we'll take all these ones out. And we'll put them back in. And there you go. Thomas City, there we go. Automaton was created. The automatons were performing admirably. Now we have to make sure enough of them automate all the critical operations in, in the city before the storm hits. The only way to, uh, to ensure that the city arcs will be supported during the storm. Hope rises. So we'll put people back in. There's only like, there's two in treatment right now, so. I don't know where the other two are. I guess they were over here. So he's bringing coal and steel. So, ice hole mine, a, ha a hasty exit. Judging by the equipment, it looks like this mine was constructed before the Great Winter, possibly by the first prospectors to explore the area. The general disarray inside the, the building suggests that they were abandoned abruptly, presumably due to some sort of earthquake. Many valuable resources have been left behind. Take resources. So there's a lot of stuff there. So I'm gonna take this guy over to here, and that's it. So I'm, we're just waiting for that hot house to get created. So we still have, we're kind of starting to run out of rations, which is why we're gonna to want to divert people accordingly. Oh, and we did make it automaton, so we can go throw that guy in. Are you still making another one? No, we're kind of low on steel right now, which is why we're trying to make some right now. Oh, this guy finished. Hopefully not. Hopefully not too long ago. I may not have noticed that. <laughs> There we go. And then we can divert him onto the steel as well. So this is the only coal patch that we have going on right now, but the next automaton to come out, we will definitely put him onto the other one there too. So there we go. Oh, 
We have another research. So I'm going to throw in some more scouts. You have two scout upgrades here I want to mention. So we have automaton scouts, which is allows us to apply automaton scouts and raise the scout limit by one. And this one just raises the limit to two. Uh, I will tell you right now, do not send automatons out as scouts. They have an advantage of they're 20% faster than regular scouts. So they are faster than their normal scouts. However, an automaton is effectively 10 workers, opposed to the scouts that you're sending out, which are five. So a little bit of simple math there, and you can see why I'm telling you not to do that. <laughs> do not do that, please, for love of God. <laughs> Very bad idea. All right, so we got our two. Is he, is he going to go refuel? He's going to go refuel. That little guy. Did we do power upgrade? No, we didn't do any power upgrade. So yeah, we can we can get this guy going. Uh, so yeah, we did finish the hothouse, so we can actually get that going now. So we're gonna throw that down over here, I guess, right? Yeah. So we want the hothouse by the generator. That's always a good place for it. And we have another old guy to do. So again, triage, care, care house. We don't really care about those right now. Fighting arena. Nope. The thing we're doing is we're doing again. We're doing the snow pet. They are really good laws. I do have to say, I kind of wish that there was more of, like, variety in the laws in terms of, like, oh, maybe one's better in certain situations. But most of the time, it is just, like, one is really good at something, and that's it. I'm hoping that this one finishes off soon. I guess not right now. I'm debating where to take people from. Because you want you want people in there, because it's a nice, warm place to, for them to work at. Eh. We could also get an automaton to do that. If we get enough steel for it next day. Yeah, we could probably do that. Broken automaton. And you'll go to steel, steel ruins. Yeah, we'll, prob we'll probably do that. We'll see when we get there. Snow pit established. There we go. A nice, nice hopeless situation. <laughs> get get into the pit. There, There is actually a body count. We never did quite look at that, did we? But there is actually a body count associated with it. So, yeah, you can see that the, there's starting to become a little bit of a food problem here. So... What I might do, I'm just debating where to shift them from. Because they technically did need to be in here, but now they do need to be in here, because now they're working on automaton. Probably after this is done, I'll take them out. Because I don't have enough steel for anything else anyways. Uh, just debating. I will take him into here. I'll just make food as fast as I can. No, I need to put like two in here. There, I'm just trying to get something where they're making food, and that's it. Alright, so we ha we can actually have another scout team. I'll, I'll throw one out in a minute. Because that's actually a better place to put them. Uh, I guess at this point, we probably need to get coal mining. How much is left in these patches? Yeah, it, de it, it depends. Like, we're kind of on par right now, so... We do have another full day. Yeah, let's just, let's just get the, let's get the range upgrade. It, it, it's also that this consumption and, and stuff is also counting the fact that I'm, I don't have a full team working in there So that also kind of matters for that So I'm just gonna do this and then when the day runs out, I think I'll send out another scout team Or maybe I'll send it out now. I don't know I haven't decided yet <laughs> I probably should start sending out now. I'll, I'll let them work for a day and then I'll send them out. There's no rush for that Search for steam cores Captain, we've run out of steam cores. I know there are several, uh, some industrial ruins to the north and south. Might find more steam cores there. I see. All right. So there you go. There's a south pass and a north pass. Now, keep in mind that the the storm is coming from the south, so that's actually the better one to do first, is to bring up there, because eventually it'll freeze over. So we have coal and steel, buried alive. We did... we. We discover a bounty of resources as we dig through the snow. Sadly, that's all, all we find. An avalanche killed everyone who worked there. Their corpses have been frozen solid. The relatively light clothes and their insignia of Her Majesty's Prospector corpse suggest that there were explorers sent north to find suitable places for generators during the onset of the Great Winter. Maybe it was for best that they weren't here to witness the fall of the Empire. All right, so we can send this guy back to the city. Because he's got, like... Coal and and 200 steel, which is like two more automatons. So there's no reason for us not to send it back. Test subject needed. So this guy wants an automaton. He says, "Please let me borrow one." I'm close to bake through, and I'll need an automaton for a day. I'll be able to produce uh, specific modifications for razor performance uh, permanently. So I will give him an automaton. I always give him one. So I will say that. The last one, so if you were to do the research, so the, the whole event train is, it chain is triggered by two automatons working, I believe is how it works. 
So if you were to do all of the medical automaton stuff, the, then the last one would be he'd get another 5% efficiency or the 5% you already have, so you get 10% 10 efficiency overall. But as you can see, I'm not even at level 2, and I can't really stop the event chain from starting. So it is one of those things that if you were really trying to min-max automatons, that would be the play, but I can't really justify it personally, just because I would have to go really far down the tree for that, so... I don't know why I have one. Oh, that was the engineer that was working from before. I think we also... Yeah, we're still working, right? Yeah. I'm just letting them do food. All right. Book of laws and organ transplants. So then we get as much as we can for efficiency. So this one medical post has basically been able to do everybody and we're, we're perfectly fine with that. Actually, I can put them on coal instead. Because it's, it's barely making enough food for them anyways. I'm gonna let, make him work all the time. All right, generator mark two. And the last one we're gonna do is probably get into the coal mining now. So, like I said, I'm gonna keep that on steam level one, I think for now, not until the next night. So the difference between Thumper and coal mining, as I said, Thumper is better when you have lots of people. Uh, coal mining is better when you don't have a lot of people. And Kill and I don't really know, because I, like, I, like I alluded to before, I don't really know enough about it, so. Is it free time or is it not? People are not on their shifts, right? Hey, and this one's done. Cool. So this one's all finished. All right, and we can just completely remove those. And I will throw an automaton onto this guy. Yeah, so I need to... I probably should have done the coal mining, but eh, whatever. What are you going to do? So research stopped. We could also... Actually, what I could do, instead of putting them on, on this right now... Hold up. Let's put them onto this one because we're, we're going to get some food if we do that food is, is i think a little bit better because we we kind of need that at the moment we're going to throw these guys back on because this guy's going to come back in a minute and also i i need to put one worker onto or one scout onto here so i'm going to let this guy go to the lost dreadnought to basically scout the rest of the remainder of this area and then the other one i'll send to the top that's how we're going to do this so we're sending him south so he'll do whatever he needs to uh, for the time being. So I need two automatons in the coal industry to do all this, uh, uh, whatever technology that, it, well, the, the objectives right now for it. So you don't really gain anything. I think it's just you get hope. All right, so you came back. They dropped off their resources. Going to send them to the south pass now towards the storm. So he's going to take like a day to do that. So that's why, like, that's how long they take. They take a long time to do that. It's pretty crazy, actually. Kind of wish I could get that last person on there. It's like... OCD town for me right now, but I don't think I can. I'd actually, I can. I can. I can drop one person out and do that. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. So we we want it. Yeah, there we go. So we 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 actually started using the resources. So I can make. I think. I don't think I could justify two automatons though. I think only one. I may not even be able to justify one. I'm trying to think here. I need another steam core. Because if I'm making two coal plants, right? I can't make that, can I? Yeah, I might need... I think I need two coal plants, actually, I just realized. I just realized I don't, we don't have two steam cores. That's an important distinction to make, I want to say, so... Let's go put them onto here, and I think that's it. Yeah, we can't... We, we do need to be careful about that. So, ceilings are in danger. Te uh, Captain, the temperature and while the ceiling arcs have dropped too low, if we do nothing, the precious contents will be lost. We mustn't let that happen. So, right now, you... Don't have to really worry about it because we do have heat. It does matter on this level because you either need level two heaters or you need to put essentially these lovely uh, steam hubs. So I'm going to turn on the steam hub. I'm also going to turn on the steam to uh, level two as well to go with that because now we're get, starting to get to the point where the temperature is now chilly. Actually, I don't need to do that right now. I could keep it at level one, but definitely the next night I'll do that. But right now you don't actually have to worry about it. There is like a little health bar and you're going to notice it depleting slowly. This is like the little health bar around the, the seedlings. That's the only thing you're really concerned about at this point. But our coal production is still pretty good. So... That's your only concern at this point. Is uh, yeah. So you can notice it's sort of starting to deplete, but... I can wait like a good day and I can turn on the heaters for for that, and then that's it. So I, I just put this guy on. It's not hitting everything, but it will hit, hit everything at the next tier of science, which we're going to do right after the coal, is what we're going to do. Like I said, there's a build here. It's a fantastical build, let me tell you. 
I'm actually surprised we're not at the. Well, I want to get. I want to get fighting arenas and things. Fighting arena is really efficient in this one because you don't have a lot of housing, so you're just like, oh, I'm just, I'm just fine. So yeah, that's. That, it was better for me to sa save this two team, uh, the, save the two steam cores, and so we can go right into drafting machines for the next tier of science. What I will do right now is I will throw down the two coal mines because we only have two. I guess we'll do it like here. Actually, or should I go like that? At 17 wood versus 22 wood. I guess I'll do the 17. I, I like that better. This is like, this is some min-maxing that I'm doing right now, but yeah. But since we have a lot of steel, we can kind of brought that over. So, steam core needed. So, this guy's going to ask for a steam core, and that's the typical thing. So, uh, so he, he says... So, sir, the engineer working on the automaton project set, uh, sent in his report. He broke the automaton he borrowed, now he wants a steam core. The damage hasn't been for nothing, we can fix the broken machine. On top of that, we can now adjust the autom uh, automatons to make them work faster. The engineer is busy now again, he's on to something really exciting. So, if you give him a steam core, he gives you that medical research that I was talking about before, but if you finish all the medical researches, and I'm, sa I'm saying both of them, then you get an extra 5%. But if you say you can't afford it, it does just raise it by 5%, which is fine. So I think it's actually worthwhile here, especially in this scenario at the stage I'm at, because I'm so early on in the game, I don't have the steam cores right now to do it. I'm going to say we can't afford it. I could also say keep keep working and say that we're going to have one eventually, and then the the next time we get a steam core, we would have it. Maybe maybe we'll try this one. Maybe we'll just rush down the tech tree. I, I mean, I don't really see a reason not to just tell them to keep working on it, and we'll find one later, because I did use them all, so maybe we'll just try that. I've actually never gone that path, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> the, the, we're, we're exploring new horizons here. New horizons. Why is one person gravely ill? Hold up a minute. Wait. It says one sick, one sick and one gravely. Low risk of falling ill. He's going on an expedition, but he hasn't left yet. Where is he? Is he gonna die? I think he's gonna die. Where is he at? He's over here. He, you can see him right there. Why, why is he working on a house? Um, interesting. He's gravely ill for some reason. Let me see if loading it resets him. He is dedicated to that house. I think I've just glitched out the game. He wasn't supposed to be doing that. I think he's gonna die, because you can see him over there, he's not doing what he's supposed to. I will say, this one I didn't even intend for him to do this. Well, that's kinda lame, I kinda want to keep everyone alive. I've been, I've been saying I want to do that, but I, I think you guys won't fault me for this one, right? Like, he's literally right here, not doing what he's supposed to, so, because he's a jerk. You can literally see him slacking off. Like, it looks like he's trying to build something. What if I, like, uh, one second. What if I, like, mark it for deconstruction? What does he do then? Uh, I will not address this right now. Because the heating homes is not worth doing anything about. Okay, I can't really do anything about him. Is he just gonna die? Because he's, he's also, he's gravely sick, so... I guess he, I guess he's just gonna, I guess he'll die then. <laughs> you guys can't fault me for that one. I can literally see him. I can't, I can't tell him to do anything though. He's like in his tent glitching out, I guess. So. I mean, if he's, if he's actually in a scouting party, he'd be in the second one I sent out. Would, will he die at all? I don't even know. But I can't, I can't do anything about that, so. Interesting. Well, that would be a good situation to load or something to a previous save or something, but I don't think I have one. Uh, maybe I do. One second. Let's see. Auto save day six. Are we on day? Yeah, this is just this is just. Well, now this is the this is the current day, so it already auto saved. Well, whatever. He's dead. What can you do? He didn't go to the hospital. Now that is a glitch that sometimes I think I've heard of happening. That's the first time it's ever happened to me though. So. And that's not a common thing, actually, when you play this, because uh, you can notice that they're they're gravely sick. We have plenty of space in the hospitals and all that, so it's not the issue. So, fighting arena. New law. A new law 
I think, I think it's because he was like, I think he was building and then a scouting party got sent out. So he just kind of stuck there. So new prospects, trust, tr uh, traversing the narrow pass while avoiding falling rocks and small avalanches was perilous, but we managed to get through. The observations I made from the past revealed that several sites in the area worth exploring. Frozen Pond is Snowy Hill. Again, we're kind of going towards the storm, so we're going to go towards Snowy Hill. Because the medical, the medical outpost is good. I didn't do anything wrong with that. Nope, because they're going all in, so eh, whatever, it's bugged. What are you going to do? Again, there's there's no like there's no reward for doing things like you know like really super optimally efficiency or whatever. So, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let it go until the next day. Six o'clock. Go to coal. Go to coal. So we have one guy on steel and two guys on coal. Actually, I don't think I need two guys on coal. But then again, where else do I set them? And yeah, we've already we've already got rid of this one. So is that everything or? Oh yeah, there's some people in here too. Forgot about this one. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the Monty into this building right now, so there you go. In treatment doesn't matter, so. You're about to hear the death noise <laughs> in a moment, because I don't think he's gonna survive. Unless, unless he unless he counts as being a part of the expedition, in which case I just won't send them out, so. Alright, we got our next upgrade here. What are we after here? So Housing comes at mechanical, so we can't quite get that quite yet. Uh, steam. Oh yeah, we want the range upgrade to start, so we'll do that. I'll also start heating these two. So I can go to steam level two. I actually should have done that the other night. Good. Well, but now I have the coal, I guess, for it. So. So we got that. Let's see. Let's do a stone ship. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we might be able to reach some more promising locations from here. So we go to the mountainside cave. Oops. Sorry, I'm misclicking a lot here. Is he not dead yet? I don't know why. Dude, he's a champion. Also, I thought I, I thought he was heating that one. I guess I wasn't. I guess I could heat all of them. There's no reason for me not to. Also, the same strategy still applies. We're trying to get to workshop stuff, so we're gonna get we're gonna try and rush to that one, and that's it. So, speaking of, we can actually do. We actually have a lot of resources left over here. I'm just wondering what to make. All right, I'm gonna make some workshops here. One, two, three. They're out of the way. I'll make a make a steam hub here. Actually, I'll just make one over there. So that that one's just a quick refueling location, so they don't have to go all the way back. Remember, even though they're walking back visually, they're still working on the machine. They're still technically working, so that's why it doesn't matter. So we get improved heaters. That does not a big issue. We could also get, let's see, lighter scout sleds, not a big issue either. We could start kind of working towards, I kind of want to go all the way into houses. I, don't, I, I It's like I said, I don't like bunk houses. How's our coal rate right now? Pretty good, so. What I'm going to do is we're going to do a big tech tech rush is what we're going to do. So if we get that, we can get automaton up, upgrades. And I do want to stop by those houses though before we get to the engineer automaton. Though. That's the thing I want to do. Because the houses I think are it's a lot of insulation for not a lot of cost, which is really nice with it, so. And our, our Giga Chad guy is still working on it there. So he should be dead, by the way, by now, I think. I'm not sure why he's not, but, you know, well, I know why he's not, because it's, yeah, it's, it's bugged out. All right, we can make the rest of these little steam towers as well. Uh, yeah. So because I did the steam upgrade for range, it's actually doing both of these now, which is really cool. It can hit two with one, so if you're kind of smart and you place it down in, a, in an optimal location with the with the upgrade, you get to do your own buildings plus theirs. So we get Snowbound Dreadnought and Snow Covered Supplies. Nothing of value, but there's more promising locations, so we'll do Snow Covered Supplies to start, and then we'll kind of head around. We still have enough food? Yeah, we're good on food, so the fact that there's 10 people starving is literally meaningless. Magicide Cave. Short tunnel leads into a vast natural cave complex which seems to be used as a warehouse. There seems to be some supplies here. So wood and raw food. The cave could collapse at any moment. It's no wonder that it hasn't turned into a per um, there has it has uh, no it's no wonder it hasn't been a permanent shelter. We'll take what we can before we're trapped in here, or worse, take resources. So I, I need to go back to the broken tree. I guess I'll go to the stone ship first and then go to the other one because it's I can bounce around kind of. I'm still kind of Shocked that the guy is still not dead. Uh, we're kind of full on coal now, aren't we? I guess I'll go get some more steel then. So I just like 
just move people around to do things. Oh yeah, so this one, turn off the steam hub, no reason for it to be on. And again, so this one we can start putting it to 60. So you can put the actually the, the ones beside the generators to this button. So first off, you want to do one range upgrade. So level one range and just put it to 1620. You can actually turn off the heater then. Because I'm not sure what the rate that they use it at. Actually, in fact, I think it's actually more expensive for me to do it that way. So I'll just keep it off for now. And just leave the heater on. Now, now I think about it, I think it's actually more expensive to do it this way when you don't need to. I'll, I'll look at it in a minute though. 19 hours. Oh, great. Everyone's everyone's working on stuff right now. Uh, let's see. Why are they all gone? I don't know where they, where they are. Ah, oh, they're, they're, they're just coming in now. Alright. Level 1, 16, off. So, the level... So, wait, actually, let's turn it on, because we'll, we'll, we'll see what the difference is. So, just to show you what the difference is. So I have a level one one. Oh, I have to do this one. So I have a level one one. Let's go here. So you can actually see Steam Hub. So there's one that's doing six per hour. So that's the one that's doing six per hour for coal. Uh, and the other one here does 12 per hour. So because of the fact I actually have heaters, it doesn't make any sense for me to have this on because I'm, I'm right now using the regular heater for this kind of thing. So it will work until the next temperature drop. So if you want to get really into the, the weeds with that. Although you could, like I said, there's also a timing factor associated with it. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it, yin and yang, what can I tell you? <laughs> so, so we're full on wood. Is there anything I can put it into? Not really. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down some resource depots. How many do I need? We'll do one for wood, one for, we'll do, so coal, wood, uh, steel, one for food. Is that it? I'll just throw down two more just because I have a lot of, actually, no, that's too many. Let's just do one for every resource. We'll, we'll just do that. All right, so snow covered supplies, raw food. Snow covering, the crates is deep, but we're sure so there's some valuable uh, supplies buried down there. So under the snow, we've uncovered many crates full of supplies. There's no telling who might have left them here. All right, done. Let's go to Snowbound Dreadnought. We got a couple more things we're making here. Let's see, what's it complaining about? A letter, thanks. Certain engineer is here to see you, he has a letter to, uh, to you from the team. My workers asked me to deliver this, plain and simple. So it reads like bad poetry, but here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The site is automaton working tirelessly in inhuman cold where they previously toiled and suffered. Is something worth living for. Glad to hear that. All right, so we got our mechanical calculators. So there is a there is the automaton integration. I kind of would like to do that. I kind of would want to do a big rush to... Is I don't know if this is a mistake, though. Doing doing a rush to this might be the play, because then I get, like, a lot more research after that, rather than doing two researches for this. So the, I think I might do that. This is this might be a mistake. I want to say this right now. Because it's, like, it's 15 hours. Actually, it's not that much of a mistake. It's more that the cost of resources. So let's do it. I don't make mistakes. I have happy little accidents. So we do have a public house, which would make people less discontented. Now, the problem with making a public house at this time is I don't really have enough people, I think. So we might actually just leave it alone. What I might do is I might do a care house and then just go into the uh, prosthetics uh, place just because that's actually just the easiest thing for me to do at the moment. So I'll just throw a care house down somewhere around here. Yeah, somewhere around there. Oh, did I? Uh, I? I kept the I kept them heated even though they don't need to be, because this one, like I said, still hits these two. So that's what we can do. All right, what's the problem over here? Serious accident. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm going for prosthetics. <laughs> Sir, there's been an accident. A Tomaton has stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the Tomaton Tom -tom should work more, walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. So you can slow them down, fall by 10%, or a Tomaton's will be a threat. A threat discontent will rise. Absolutely do not slow them down. Never slow them down in any scenario. Never do that. It's who cares? We can't afford it. 10% on the automaton scenario is the worst thing imaginable. Who cares about the flesh and blood humans? It doesn't matter. We should know better. Did we lose someone yet or what? Because I, I had one person like get taken out of this, I think, but I don't know. I'm very confused. So yeah, never ever take that one. That's like the worst deal. I do want to finish this one off. Let me see here. 
There's only 10 coal left, right? Yeah, the temperature's about to drop again, so here's what we might do. Because uh, the temperature's going to drop, and then it's going to be bad, so... Here's what I'm going to do. You go off, go into this one instead. Oh, it's going to go refuel, isn't it? What a waste of time. Actually, I, I could just put him into the last one here. That's what I'll do. I just want to use it. Okay, this was a. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm, what am I trying to get here? I, I like, want to satisfactory, like, get all this stuff there, so. All right, haven't com covered anything of value, but there might be more snow quality in the supply depot once again, so. Go to the supply depot. A care house has been established in accordance with the new law. Hope rises. We're gonna need another uh, worker, uh, another scout at some point. Might do that at some point as well. All right, let's do coal. Oh, he did. He he got the rest of it. So let's go throw the throw it in there. All right. Go back into here. That's it. So we got our we got our hope rises place. We got we got an amputee. I'm not sure why this guy's still there, but yeah. I'm not bring I'm not bringing that scout team over. It's gonna it's gonna worry me. So, so like I said, one of every single kind of resource. And did I do one for steel? No, I didn't. Steel. Food rations. And there you go. So there we go. We got lots of storage as well. How's our coal doing? Yeah. So consumption isn't doing too well either. So, but we should be okay for the time being. As long as we have the humans kind of working in the in the place that they should be. So now these heaters are not actually sufficient enough to heat this anymore. So we'd either need level two or something else. But what we can do instead is we can just turn on this this heater for both of them. It's a little bit more coal, sure, but you know, like I said, it does a pretty good job. But you don't have to have it on all the time, because again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about the like as as long as like because they have a health bar that goes on and off kind of thing, so. Let's do some autonomous integration to start. Oh. Snowbound Dreadnought, he's found some steam cores. My man. This land, Dreadnought, wasn't designed for this kind of weather. Presumably, it was part of the one prospect uh, part of one of the prospecting expeditions before the Great Winter. Found some priceless resources here. Yeah, I would say. So that's what we wanted. So we got a day, eight hours to go to that frozen pond. We will do that. Alright, what do we got here? The stuck automaton. Sir, so an automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in, a, in the assigned building. Can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other. I mean, shutting down either the automaton or the building. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the steelworks. So he's unassigned now, and I can go... Is it is it off or no? Yeah, there you go. Efficiency 0%. You can take him off and put him on coal instead. Because I don't really need that much steel. So it's just off right now due to an emergency. They're going to just work on it. That's it. So I kind of wanted to get someone on coal. Automaton is really important, actually. Sometimes you can do the other way around, but yeah. In stash, searching a shack, we found plenty of valuable supplies. I will take the wood and the, the food. That sounds good to me. And I'll go back to the snow, snow crawl over here. So our coal, how's our coal doing now? Yeah, so we're barely at the correct kind of uh, assum uh, consumption right now. So, well, actually, this guy's not even doing anything because he's refueling. So, worthless sack of automaton. Cold homes. I will not address this right now still. So discontent will go high, but I, I don't have anything to deal with that at the moment. I probably could just overdrive it. But again, if you promise that, you have to keep them heated for two days, and I don't have two days of overdrive, which is why I'm going to tell them to go away. We still have, we're still pretty good on everything else. Did I do, yeah, I'm trying to wait for prosthetics. Is he still working at it? He's still, dude, he's still at it, and he's not going to die. He's... It's like Rasputin over here. <laughs> He's determined to, to finish this this tent. Uh, man, man, what's going to happen when I change it to houses? Is he going to die if he's going to do that? Or is he going to be like, whoops, I was supposed to be on an expedition. I, I could guarantee you he will die if if I send him out. So, All right, one second. We can do prosthesis now. Hear me, Oops. Hear me. Steam core, snow crawler. Defeated by weather, the, this snow crawler was separated from our expedition by the blizzard and it ran out of fuel. Our people are still inside, frozen solid. We'll give them a proper burial. The crawler was built before the great winter. Nobody predicted how bad the weather would get. It didn't stand a chance. All we can do now is dismantle for resources. Oh, there you go. Alright, so we can send this guy back. There is the Misty Valley, but that's that's the that's the south route that or north route, I think, is what that was. So we'll we'll wait on that one for a little bit. It's gonna make like two prosthesis over here, and that's it. You can see we're we're at no risk of uh, getting anything. Let's just check our heater situation. Yeah, we're good. 
So this is like the this is the the automaton zone, so we don't come down here. So our our man is coming back with uh, wood, steam cores, and food, which is nice. Ironically, that path would have probably been better to do at the end, kind of a thing, like to not bother with that. So I guess I should use the overheater right now. I don't know why I'm not. I'm just I'm not, I'm actually it's really not mattering. We were, we only have four people in in. Uh, whatever the heat so there's your there's your new temperature drop right there so even if you went for like the level two heaters you kind of still have to worry about that that time being an issue so it is what it is engineer automatons so we're good now to do that let's see so i either want to have an additional scout team or go right for the i'm thinking i'm thinking now do i do that do i do the heating do I do an industrial hothouse? That wouldn't be the worst thing, but I don't have enough stuff for that. I think lighter sleds would be probably pretty good. I kind of have been kind of slacking off on that. I don't really want to send anyone out right now, so I think right now they're pretty good the way they are. Frozen pond, and nothing of value, but they're more promising locations. Isolated shelter, research outpost. And I see a lot of this is like, yeah, continuously just going around kind of thing. I like how we have a four-man scouting party, technically. Oh, we can, we can throw this guy onto here. I'm going to make another prosthesis for him, because might as well. And then they can work on, uh... Actually, is he almost back home? Yeah, I'll just let him do their thing. Guess I guess I said I was going to overdrive it, and I didn't do it. Definitely when that when that temp, when that that temp cold hits there, we're going to need it. We're going to need the houses at that point, so... So it's right now two below. So when it's up like this, okay, yeah. So that's, on, that's only with the overdrive. So with... With the next temperature drop, because we need to keep them at chilly, right? And it's good to prepare for that. It's only right now three heat zone because the the generator is overdrived with the steam hub, right? It means that the next level I can essentially use heaters on them, and then that would be enough to keep them warm. So we don't technically, I guess, need that other upgrade for it. So I'm gonna turn off overdrive for that. Oh, I forgot about the automatons. Whoops. Yeah, I was supposed to put them onto here. Uh, not that one. I think just one is good enough for now, right? Yeah, it's not a big, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was just, it was just the thing I rushed my science for, but you know, but again, it wasn't a big deal. I don't want to take, I don't want to take them off of wood quite yet. All right, so now that we have that, we can do. I'm gonna maybe do. No, no, no let's do efficiency because that's just more research. So. I'm just doing all the lazy ass researches that like I probably shouldn't be doing. Food quality. People are complaining about the quality of food. They understand that times are hard and full meals a luxury, but eating one from time to time makes a big difference for them. Is there a chance of that? So you could say I will provide standard food rations or no, discontent will rise, I don't care. So right now things are they're mostly mad because of the cold at home. So I probably should deal with that actually right after this. <laughs> I will deal with that. I expected about sorry I didn't read that. Expected bounty. The shelter has been built for some important person or a very small group. Whatever, uh, whoever was supposed to live here never showed up. The the supplies are untouched. He was gonna live off of four, uh, three, three steam cores and a bit of what, uh, food there. So that's okay. All right. So this guy's back. I guess we'll go to the Misty Valley. Actually, if I want to be sweaty, I should go over here then. Oh wait, the. Oh, did he? He he left. The guy left. Oh no, he's still there. Never mind. He's just not sick anymore. He's still at it though. He has healed himself through sheer anger and pain. Steam core needed. Sir, the engineer working on the automaton projects here. If you, if you don't give it to him, you'll end the project. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna say we can't afford it. Just don't get rid of it. Which means also we can start making more automatons. That's very important. I actually want to really work on this. Actually, we can make make it with this guy. One second, you go make it. I'm always going to go refuel every single time. They love refueling. Their jam. All right, cold homes. We will not address. Well, will we address this now? We're not going to address this now. So people are getting perpetually more pissed off at me, but and eventually they're going to give me an ultimatum. I'm sure at some point. So let's go to Misty Valley. Uh, what are we doing for coal? Okay, so I don't want to take anyone off of this coal supplies that I have. I think we're still good on coal, though. Yeah, we are. I still don't want to take anyone off of it, because I'm a little bit concerned about it. There's no one inside palliative care right now. Okay. Because they would be going into here, but that means they just won't go into it, so. Alright, Book of Laws. Uh, nope, I think we're good. 
like I said, if I make if I do public house, I'd have to make said public house, and I, I will do that eventually. I guess I, I guess there's no reason for me not to. I'm just gonna put it like out of the way then. All right, fine. You guys, you guys win. Never say I didn't do anything for the British. I'm putting it out here though. We're waiting. So this guy has coal and steam cores. We will go ahead and explore. So people who worked here were explorers. They paid the way north for the rest of us. They must have been left in a hurry, perhaps to reunite with their families before the great winter took hold. All right. And that's it. We can go all the way back home. So now to start doing, now to start doing heating, because yeah, that's kind of important now. I'm gonna do the houses first, because that's like two levels of heat for the homes, and then yeah, everything else should be good. Now, this is why I didn't want to do this, because I didn't want people working on this, because it's kind of annoying, but I don't know where to take them from. Yeah, this is a automaton that's in there, yeah. That's why I guess I guess I don't need another scouting team, so let's just go throw them in there. I guess I'll, I'll keep it heated, because might as well, right? All right, so this guy's getting coal and steel. Safe passage, a narrow path uh, we were investigating led into a large flat landscape. The snowy plains have already dis uh, discovered something. Uh, have we already discovered something promising? We're already uh, observed a dozen places worth exploring. There's a lone boulder here, so let's go. So, do I have an automaton ready or what? Yeah, no, no zero available. So, oh, we can't actually. Huh. I don't have enough steel right now. I might take this guy off of that and put him onto here. I need more steel, though. How much steel does this guy have? Yeah, a little bit. All right. Just because I really want steel, I'm going to put two onto here and just hope that we get another one in time. It's so weird that it just feels like we don't have a lot of resources, but I guess we really don't. <laughs> Actually, we don't need anyone on the wood, I just realized. I just realized that the wood is completely full. There we go. That, that solves that. Bunkhouse researched. Go straight into houses now. Actually, I was going to say, it just occurred to me, we could be getting the uh, streamlined automatons. We had that like a little while ago. That's that's actually, I think, more worth it than the houses at this stage. Even though that 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 cold is coming real fast. Oh, whatever. Dude, I have, I have the need for greed, okay? All right, let's take, this, let's take these guys off. Wait, wait, I have an automaton working here. Okay, that makes more sense of why where they were. I should have checked where they were. All right, put them on the research now. I just realized that there was a automaton because I wanted it working overnight to do that, so. All right, let me click that. So you gotta <laughs> be better at me at keeping track of where, the, where your guys are, so. Uh, long hours of toil, I won't address this right now because extended shifts are fine. All right, so now they're pissed at me because they're uh, extremely discontent with your rule. Revolt can break out in a moment. Just hold on for two days. So I have two days to lower discontent. There's the easiest way of doing it, by the way, is just if I flip on the generator. Uh, that's that's like the easiest way of doing it. <laughs> so I'll, I'll wait until it's night and then go like, here you guys go. Have have heat. Oh, it's just barely barely not enough. I think they're gonna go into here and then become less discontent. So that's why I said it's actually easier to deal with than you guys think. So. A distinct spot in the frost land. We can use it as a point in, uh, for more exploration. New landmark. A search haven't, hasn't uncovered anything, but there's a windswept snow field and a steam lorry. So let's go to, I guess, the windswept field. And what we can do now is we can do moonshine. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. So they will down. There you go. We managed to place it, pl placate our people. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear all it took was a bit of moonshine and everyone was fine with it. I'm gonna do one more on this. Do we have a guy coming in? Yeah, he's got some coal with him, so works for me. And for the next one, let's see. So now I really do need the houses. I really like, I felt like I had, well, of course I had more people. I had engineers. What I'll probably do is the next day, so I can either disband this team. I don't think I should, though. Whatever, fine. Let's just disband the team. Uh, I will save it before I disband the team, because I don't think this is the one where they were, like, super sick. I, I, Ironically, I still haven't lost anybody. So we'll disband the team. Let's see. There you go. There's the two sick that... This, so this is the, the first one I sent out, so... 
so they can go into the sick thing. So they're, I, like I said, they've been sick the entire time. The only one I'm worried about is the really glitched out one. This one I will absolutely not disband. Because <laughs> I think the minute they disband, we're gonna lose someone. He's on life support, AKA being a, being a Giga Chat scout right now. Oh wait, I have five engineers on this. We can remove that. Too many on that. I didn't realize I had so many on that. That's all good though. Uh, let's get some more automatons. Oh, 1600 hours, yeah, there we go. So wait, where's our people in treatment? So I'm gonna mark these guys and dismiss them. I, I would prefer if, yeah, so one's gonna go eat and then the rest can go in there. We don't need so much food, so I, I like food, but I don't like it that much. Uh, we got bunkhouse, we're not bothering with that, like I mentioned. House research, figure in the distance. Oh, it's not, I really didn't mean to press that, but uh, there's a figure in the distance right now. Uh, there's this guy over here, so we can go meet him as well. That's, that's something we can do. Uh, I kind of don't want to bring out sick people for this one. I don't know. We could do that. Also, our generator's overheating. Uh, let me see. Okay, you have the people in that people in the that house can go. So let's go get them. So there's a figure in the distance. We can we can meet the survivor and escort him to safety. So we're gonna go out and see what he's all about. Let's go do that and figure out the next research we wanna do. So we can do the. Houses cost 10 less wood and 10, uh, 10 less steel to build, but I don't know if it's really worth it. You're saving like, I guess 20 steel, because you're, because remember, you're, we're making five houses, right? So this is technically only worth it <laughs> for 20 steel, and that that's 15 hours of, of this not working, which is, to me, not worth it at all. I don't really care about that, so. So I'm going to probably do another power upgrade instead. Actually, no, 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 not another power upgrade, sorry. I'm going to actually do another coal mine upgrade. One second, I have to stop whatever I was researching right now, aboard. Sorry, I forgot how precarious our, steam, our coal mine situation was, so we'll do that first. What we'll do is, I guess I'll wait until they're done working and then I'll move them around. Is it making, there we go. I would like it to. Do, I'm gonna put him onto wood again. Steel is mostly the problem here. Supply trailer, player system machinery. This gear must have belonged to prospectors or explorers that came to be came here before us. Some of it was twisted and crushed by moving ice, but we found many usable things. Okay, cool stuff. And we can go to the abandoned sawmill. All right, so drunken meltdown. Sir, uh, sir, a drunken man is having a meltdown in front of the cookhouse. He's screaming that people are ill, cold. Homeless and scared, but instead of help, they get booze for their meals. So we can escort him home, discontent will fall, hope will fall, or let him be. Which is, both things will rise. Which is, we prefer that. Remember, discontent is easier to deal with. They're only really upset right now because of the lack of housing. Which I'm going to fix as soon as the work day ends. Okay, that's another automaton. Let's see, Put throw him onto that. We got a little bit more here. So he's got the guy now. What's going on here? Cold homes. So this time I'm gonna actually say I'm gonna heat all homes. The reason being is because we're about to get, I think, to I think I think we could say we're gonna heat all homes. The reason being is because I'm just about to well actually no, there is no steel right now. Let's do heat some homes. I think I can't do the steel here. One second. Let's take them all off for a second. I don't think we can justify right now. We kind of need that. So, now that they're all done, let's do houses. Yeah, that's what I thought. We don't have enough steel. Oh, we need to do the steel upgrade, actually. That's what we need. I forgot there was a steel steam works. Yeah, we should have probably done that a little bit sooner. Oh, well. Not going to say that's game ending, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't think it's... I think it's fine. We really need steel for those, those guys, so... That, that's, by the way, the, the scout that was gravely ill. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Sir, an exhausted man has reached our city, badly frostbitten and with a harrowing tale to tell. He said he's come from a nearby city called New Manchester. Uh, it's inhabited, uh, inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but th but their resources are running out and they're in, they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout to look for help. He's a sole survivor. He begs us to, uh, to help his people. All right, let's find out more. 
that we're gonna send a little expedition out to the camp. So we're gonna send out for New Manchester and check it out. Yeah, I really do need the additional guys working on that, so. They are taking a really long time to work on these houses. Oh, let's see. So saving the me saving the messenger. Scout for the man who arrived from New Manchester and is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. This could be our only chance to learn more about the city. Hope we can save him. All right, so they're going to be a little bit more happier now. Helping, but at what cost, sir? Some of the people are restless. They argue that with the storm closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission to help New Manchester at the same time. They understand it's a difficult decision, but they want to know what your priority will be when we have to choose. So either we can say we will not help abandon people in our need, or we won't endanger our mission. Because remember, we're trying to save seeds. There's this whole like green earth thing that we're trying to go for later on, right? So you, this is kind of the tough choice of arcs, right? There's this whole city of people starving, so, you know. And and it brings in one of those questions. It's like, what's the point of saving all these all these seeds if there's no one alive at, at the end of it to enjoy it, right? And to, or to plant it, right? So it may not even matter. So that's what I'm gonna say. We can't, we can't abandon people in need. That's gonna be my, my decision there. So livable conditions and homes. Yeah, so we'll be okay. They're gonna be comfortable, so. All right, abandoned sawmill. There was not much, uh, there's probably an outpost here, uh, uh, here years ago. There's nothing left of it. But this, uh, but this frozen sawmill. All right, so we just take some wood. That's it. So steam lorry. Let's go to steam lorry. So we got, yeah, all the wood here. So they should be fine now. So I have to keep the the homes level for like a, a day essentially. So that's so that's the only thing about that. But now it's now it's much more manageable. The only thing that might happen is the temperature will probably drop, and then I have to start heating the seedlings with the my my heaters now. All right, we got some wood, broken vehicle. So we found the bodies of the other new Manchester expedition members. Their supplies were completely insufficient for this weather. One of them managed to reach our city uh, from here from from uh, here beggars belief, from be from here beggars belief. Okay, and then broken vehicle, beggars belief. Did, did I misunderstand that? I don't even know. Broken vehicle. All right, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. At least we're, let's roll nicely heated now, and we're all good. So steam, steelworks, all good. I'm gonna do. I'm, you know, I'm gonna go straight to advanced steel works. That's what I'm gonna work on. Brace yourselves. Old is coming. So the medical outpost and this hot house doesn't have enough insulation for that. So that, that's the one thing. And you can see that the arcs now need to have heaters as well to be functioning now. So, but it does still work. We still can do it. But the the next one's gonna be rough. We need to have another temperature upgrade before we can make that uh, happen. So we're not going to bother with the House of Pleasure because, uh, well, if, if, as much as we love prostitutes, uh, we can't we can't justify having another five people. In fact, I probably shouldn't even made that public house. I actually made it and then it didn't really use it, as you can see. So I'm kind of aiming for this uh, lovely advanced steel works, though. That's what we really need. Yeah, I, I should have had that way earlier. That's that's my own bad. Uh, I'm going to put this guy into research too. Of course, he's going to go refuel. Okay, there we go. Now we can go do advanced steel works for both of them. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of steel right now. Uh, so we can either do... I think we have to do, like, one of the tier 3 techs. So we can either do coal mining optimization. I don't know. We could do, we could do industrial hothouse, too. That's also one that we can do. I might not. That might be worth it. Uh, medical automatons is not really worth it. There's also this generator power level, which I think I'll do. Because I can turn off the heaters then. That's kind of worth it, in my mind. Here we have some steam cores. The vehicle belonged to members of an expedition from New Manchester. It was clearly too heavy for the ice and rode it over. Using it here was a uh, using it here was a pure suicide. So, <laughs> suicide mission. I like that. Uh, so yeah, it was just like uh, yeah, they just got got fucked up. So observation tower and ruined warehouse. So we can go look at. So we could go to the side passage here, and as you can notice, it's actually starting to freeze over there. So, I will do this one though. All right, we've got steel and steam cores. Heavy hauler. The generators were built thanks to steam lorries like this one. They, their ability to haul cargo over the frozen landscape. It's a shame it can't be repaired. And that's it. So we can send this back. Now, this is the one with the guy that will die. So I'm definitely going to save before I send him in. I'll, I'll tell you that much. 
I don't really care about this. There's no one. There's no one in there anyways. You can freeze all at once. Can I just turn it off now? Yeah, the fact that the the home is on has to be on. So cold at work. Is it really cold at work? I guess it is. All right, so we got another upgrade here. So to make the steam work more worthwhile, we can tell the steam if, uh, that it burns 33% less. We could do that. I also wouldn't mind getting steam wall drill either. We got a lot of options here. Let's just go with that. I, I also don't think I did the steam coal mines yet. I don't think I, I threw those down. So we have to go throw those down as well. I'm going to do the coal efficiency. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. These need steel. But I, we have nine, nine cores. We, we actually need more uh, steel right now. Why is this one ref He's refueling. Interesting. Okay, he is. It'll be fine. Yeah, we're running out of coal for sure. But that, that's why we're doing this little upgrade here, because it should be okay. Because right now it's saying, like, hey, we're going to lose some, but if the if these guys don't do anything, one second, I'm going to turn these off now. In fact, most of these... Act, no, that, no, that can be off too. Uh, one second. Let's just go to here turn these all off because we have we have enough uh, now for, for all the rest of it so so we have wood and rock raw food with moderate effort we are able to remove crates containing supplies on the snow we'll put them good to good, good use in our city all right send them to the observation tower obviously i'm in no rush to see what the what that city is doing right now so Get going. Time to earn your bread. i am going to want to upgrade that that wall drill though as well where is he at because that, that's going to start becoming a... Wood's going to start becoming a problem, I guarantee you that. So, let's do that. Where's the steam wall drill? There we go. So, throw that guy onto here. There you go. Is it making another one or no? Yeah, it's actually making the other one, so good stuff. Alright. Longer hours of toil. And it's telling me not to do, to, to do regular shifts. I won't address that, though. So we still, that, that one medical tent is actually still doing an amazing job, actually. But you can see it's going to drop by temperature twice, so we're going to have to do something about that eventually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably throw down t another workshop or two. And we can do another one. Oops, not, not that. All right, scouts have returned safely to the city. Let me give it a good old save, because <laughs> I don't trust it. That guy was really glitched out. Is he going to die immediately when he comes in here? No, he's not. Count me as shocked. I guess I guess that's how they fixed it. It's like if someone was supposed to be going, I guess they, they undid his thing because they realized it was a bug. So, I mean, it, it was. That's, that's kind of how it worked. So, all right. So, let's see. What do we want right now? I want to get more food. Food is going to be important. So, let's go grab some more of that. We can also get an automaton to work on this as well, so we can get the people out of that. And go 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 ahead, go work on the Oh, it's this one. Oh, that doesn't actually work anymore. I'm just gonna do 24 hours. Because otherwise it's it's off then. <laughs> that that's not okay. We can't have that. The messenger lives. Captain, we managed to treat the messenger from New Manchester. He's made a full recovery. Thank you. If I had been in New Manchester, I I died off. I mean um we don't have to. We don't have the means to treat people with such deep frostbite. This city seems dangerously undeveloped. Hope rises. So we now have on our city. We now have fifty-five people. We have a. We have a free unemployed worker now. So I'll just put him in the cookhouse. There you go. So you promised war. People warps. So you delivered. Excellent. One of the things we will likely have to do here, though, is I will have to shuffle this around slightly because of a little something. We're going to put down another probably food building in a bit. And I'm really adamant about using the max amount of automatons. So I still have regular steam coal mines, don't I? So I need to also upgrade those. So they should just do it, right? In theory. Yeah, they're going to do it. Yeah, they're there. So we fixed our problems and we have steel and everything. So we got some wood over here. We we can see New Manchester from the strands of smoke can be seen from rising from it means it's still inhabited. We have to we have to reach them as soon as possible. New Manchester and empty shelter. So let's go over there. So we have another we got the upgraded version of that. Industrial hothouse completed. Alright, so with that we get like you can either do some more insulation. I think this counts as more insulation though. 
it's one of the things that you can do. Uh, let's see. More automaton upgrades would be also good too. So let's go to automatic typing because I don't think I don't see anything here. It's like desperately I need right away. So we'll go we'll go to the next the last tier of science. So what I will do is I will throw down some more food. Invalid's placement looking out right because I haven't done that yet. Now you know why I did that. <laughs> And another hothouse. So we put it beside the Jenner just so it, it, it they will never have a heat problem basically from from having that. So that's the way to do it. Fortunately, I was hoping they they would finish these, but that's okay. That's why we have so much uh, everything. So oh, I just realized that he's not working on this anymore. So I'm just gonna tell him to infinitely. Actually, I probably shouldn't infinitely make these, but you know. So let's just check our resources to make sure we're good. Yeah, we have plenty of plenty of coal now, so coal is no longer an issue. There's our one of our hot houses. All right. So with that one, I don't think we need another power upgrade quite yet. Another automaton efficiency upgrade is good. Uh, I'm not sure if another redesign upgrade is worth it right now. I'm trying to think if that is. I mean, it is the last one. I probably will get it eventually. Uh, coal mine we don't need, wall drill we probably will need in a moment. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do this one because just in case, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cancel that. I'm going to let that finish up. I don't I don't see it. I don't have a desperate need of another automaton right now, so. The city is much bigger than ours, yet it seems less far advanced and more crowded. Explore. A dying city, New Manchester. And it's got a generator too, so like I said from New Home, fucking last city my ass. <laughs> So that's why I think this is, I don't think these are canon, but well, and like I said, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, a, a dimly lit gro uh, glowing generator stands in the middle of a shanty town. There's so many people here, too many. They look sick, un underfed, and most, most of them don't have proper roof over their heads. Nothing can save them from the storm except us. So we can even say we will try to help them, which is we will leave Manchester for now, but we'll try, try uh, but we'll send our, do our best to send help, or we must focus on survival. We have our own problems. So we're gonna do the so the two paths essentially i think what happens here is i think what it does is it will skip the chain and you'll just prepare for the storm yourself this will make it so you have to prepare for a storm and kind of try and help them on optionally on the side you don't have to help them uh that's completely an optional thing but you know you do you don't feel morally good and it's like i said like it's the whole point of like we're doing the seedling arcs right and who what the hell is the point of having seedlings if no one's gonna be around to enjoy it or plant them or whatever so so we're gonna try and help them out that's it. I'm not sure why it doesn't count as not, not explored, but, you know, it, it doesn't, so. So aid for New Manchester. We found New Manchester, but its people are lacking in uh, almost everything needed to survive. We could try and help them, but only automatons will be able to carry the supplies across the windswept uh, wasteland to them. If we want to help them survive the storm, they will need construction materials, wood and steel to build shelters. This is just the beginning. They'll need much more, especially food and coal. All right. So it says here 600 steel, 600 wood, and one automaton to send the relief expedition. So we're kind of low on that at the moment so we're that's why i kind of was going to make the additional wall drill actually and i think i'll go make more of it in a moment this guy has a lot of wood actually so i can just send that wood with him as soon as we get the last upgrade i decided to do automaton redesign though i guess i didn't I, like i said i don't think i really needed it so but i, I kind of did it anyway so you sue me there's needed and then there's uh, me just doing things i guess all right, let's go for that wall drill first because we need that, and we can do the coal after that. So they don't need coal for the first the first relief expedition. So we got nine days, sixteen hours left for raw food industry. I think I think it's just complaining because I didn't actually throw throw in. Oh, oops, don't do that one. And I'll put an automaton to make more automatons. Again, it always goes to refuel every single time. It's something <laughs> you can't shift them around that easily. All right, empty shelter, distinct spot in the wasteland. We can use it as a as a waypoint. So there's Manchester's Dreadnought and Wrecked Vehicle uh, that we've uncovered, so I'll do the Dreadnought first, is what we'll do. Kind of go upwards. I kind of want more food, guys, though. We'll, we'll do that in a minute. I'll, I'll start throwing them onto there. I think I need some more... Uh Let's see, where the, I need two more resource depots. We either that or the research for resource depots. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the. I don't know if I could justify the research right now, so I'm gonna make two more because I need to just stockpile some steel and stuff for that. So. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. 
Oh, there you go. Again, I could just over overdrive the generator actually for now. Yeah, coal's full too, so. Alright. Let's throw that guy onto here. So the city is Thomas, all seedling arcs are now safely being maintained by automatons. All critical operations are now secured. We, net, we still have time to spare before the storm hits. If we're to have a shot at surviving, we need to gather as many supplies as we can. Okay. So it's gonna complain it's gonna say eight thousand gold to spend all expeditions. That's the two things. I guess uh, if the guy was gonna die, we'd have that problem. But we have nine days, seven hours left to, to deal with that. So we don't have to help New Manchester if we don't want to, again. But, you know, we're going to do it because why not? Alright, so we got the wall drill. I'm definitely going to need... I, I think I'm going to need those resource upgrades, but I'll see. Just trying to say... Oh, no, we want the uh, autonomous integration first. And I will make the wall drill right now. Alright, so he's got some steel and steam cores. Unrepairable. This dreadnought would have carried hundreds of people. It looks like it belonged to the citizens of New Manchester. Now it's broken beyond repair. Alright. And he's got some steam cores with him, too, which is nice. Let's just go to the, the wrecked vehicle. I guess I should stop making so many time tunnels. Make like one more. Yeah, like 50, they're, they cost like 50 wood there. They're really cheap. I won't address the long toil right now. But we're gonna make some more steel. I'm gonna bring also some more coal in as well. So it says 8,000 coal, which is a lot, but we'll try and do them first, so. We are definitely gonna need to get a lot of coal going here though. I don't think we have so much of a need for automatons anymore. Uh, yeah, the last one I'll put onto research and that's it. And I still have this one here actually, I just realized. So. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this last one actually, I just realized I have one bonus one. Bonus one? Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> don't care. Alright, uh, let's see, so... Generate power, yeah, that requires so much lumber right now, so... I think for the time being, is there like a cheaper research we can go down? Probably a yeah, medical post upgrade. But we're trying. So this is the most amount of wood we're probably going to get. Coal and steel, so we can go salvage that. So while just assembling a wreck, what we could from we found a hidden cache of supplies, and that's it. That's the last one. Let's send everyone back. I think we have uh, people available now, so now we can actually have prostitutes. Awesome. So you know that worker, you know? That's it. He's go he's going he's good he's b just become a prostitute. There you go. It's people with a worker fetish, you know. You got you got to appeal to all the all the demographics. So I have, I have an automaton not doing anything. I guess I'll throw him onto coal. Why not? Actually, I can't throw him onto coal. Oh yeah, I can actually. There he is. So, yeah, I'm going to just stop making automatons. I have like two steam cores left, which is fine. So we'll wait for... Oh, that wasn't even the upgraded research thing that I was kind of thinking of getting. I guess I'll get generator power now. Because I have to unpower that now. <laughs> so. Alright. Oh, this is not powered enough. And we're going to have another temperature drop in a moment here, which is why I have to do that. I kind of want to send them over, but I can't at the moment. Resource depots are pretty expensive, but I kind of feel like I need to do this right now. It's uh, not exactly cheap, but he's bringing back like 315 wood, so I could probably take one of the automatons out with that. Alright, and with that one I'm going to do faster gathering. Okay, so now, now everything's still going, and we're fine. And eventually it gets to the point where, like, you see the heat keeps, keeps going down. There are no more upgrades I could do for this, so... Our, our, our production is still really good, so that's all I'm like. I'm not overly concerned at the moment. All right, cool. As soon as he gets back, I'm going to send out the automaton with the, the upgrades there. Faster gathering. And now we can do a resource depot upgrade. Work day ends. It's time off. Yeah, I would really like the scout to come back one second. Instead of coal, I will change it to steel, just so I can have a bit more steel. Yeah, Tomatons are, like, insanely cheap right now, which is really nice. Alright. Resource Depot. Is there anything else that we want to do? I guess coal mining, advanced coal mine wouldn't be the worst idea, so we'll do that now. Alright, so he's come back. I will... I, actually, I don't know. I, I don't think hard saving really matters, because if they die, they die. I have to disband the team, the 
the groups anyways, so. Nope, everyone's fine. Okay, so everyone's back home. So we got a bunch of wood here. So from the outpost, we can essentially now say relief expedition. So you have to have an automaton free. So I will send this guy off and I will send them on their way. So there's, it's sending out an expedition. So we've sent out one. So food for Manche New Manchester. With basic shelter secured, the most pressing need is food. Hunger is forcing people to do dire things. May God forgive them. He's just talking about uh, uh, basic cannibalism. Gather enough food rations and have automatons carry them to New Manchester. So it's saying 2,000 food rations is what we kind of need to do. So what we do is we divert from, I guess, the... Where is it at? The wood and the... And the steel to food rations. So we have to still make a bunch more food now. Let's see, what's this one? So I have two automatons working now for that. We can also get another upgrade for that as well. And we can now also work more upon the coal. So we're still saving for that coal. So remember, eyes on the prize as well. We can get a little bit more coal to go with that. So I'm going to throw an automaton onto here as well and start making a little bit more automatons. Yeah, let's go. So people oppose you. Sir, the concerned engineers are here again. They argue that sending supplies to New Manchester endangers the mission. We came here ready to give our lives so that the Earth may be reborn. We can't forfeit that all now. Please show us that you understand the importance of our mission. I can't. We can't let down people in need, which is just going to rise as hope will fall. I won't endanger our mission. You have to keep at least eight, six automatons working in the city. Well, I already have that, so... So you have to resolve this in seven days. So we, we're keeping six. We have plenty of automatons. It's not the problem, so... We're going to just keep them going. So I, I could do like about four. I think there's enough food, right? There should be enough food, I think. So that's why we're kind of keeping the soup going too. I'm not, I'm not sure if I should make another food place. Is this enough though? Let's, let's, what's our, what's our food per day? Let's have a look. So raw, get, it's, it's 500 a day. And we need, we need 2000, right? To be on the safe side, I might put another industrial hothouse down. Because I would rather... We could just... Like, we could get those cores back. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Uh, that's okay. I could solve that. I uh, can't put that... Yeah, I'll just put it here. I'll, I'll just... Do, like, remember, you don't lose steam cores. I can always deconstruct that building later. Because I'm just looking at that food rations. I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's enough. Actually, we should put a guy into this. Does that, does that change the numbers at all? Let's see. Yeah, a little bit, but not really. Because there's not a whole lot we can do about a lot of that, so... Let's see. Let's go throw some more advanced coal mines down. And we have research to do. So, if we want food, we would do hothouse selection, which is... It'll be 15% more efficient. It works for me. Again, I, I'm probably I'm probably over preparing for this, but I'm just like I want to make sure we're good. And there's actually no more researches we could do. There's no more uh, things to go into at this point. So I'm sure engineers would love dueling them all. So and that's it. We don't have any more. So we take the automaton off, put them both on research, and that's it. I don't see a reason. We could also deconstruct the factory to get back our steam core from the factory if we if we really wanted to. Not necessary though, but it's something we can do if we wanted to. We might, we might do it just to get, like, the better medical outpost or something. Oh, these are also still falling right now. I need to actually heat these now. So, we're at the point now where I, I have to absolutely heat these all the time. I don't have a choice. Long hours of toil. I won't address that because it will last for the rest of the scenario. We're fine. <laughs> they can deal with it. They'll be okay. All right. So, I think an infirmary is not the worst idea I would have ever had. But I think I think right now also coal mining optimization is actually better because I, I need more coal. So we're, that's the one thing I'm not too sure about. We could also throw down a thumper too if we want to go down that research tree. So I'm sure also the fact that I have these uh, these these ones going all the time are not that great for the industrial hothouses because look at this it's just barely enough for the insulation and everything. So these will also need to be heated too. Oh, although there is an upgrade for that, so we can also get that one and we can save the coal as well. But like the coal and the seedling arcs, we, we can't do anything about, so. So, because of the fact that I, I don't have any more 
uh, need for the factory. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deconstruct it. It's gone. I have 16 people that aren't doing anything. But like I said, that at this point the automatons are actually more efficient than people are. So the food's going pretty good too. What I'll do is I'll throw down one more resource depot. All right, let's see. So one more coal mining optimization, 10% again. So what's our coal gain per day now? Let's have a look. Consumption. So we're getting about, we're consuming, we're, we're getting about 2,000, I'd say. And we have six days to work with, so. So that's likely enough. Probably more than enough, I'd say. I'm gonna put down more food rations just so I can send them some food. It's also with the fact that I'm doing some really sketchy shit over here, so. Because <laughs> I, I, I want to make sure I have enough for that, so. Alright. More coal mining is done. Uh, let's see here. So. Yeah, we don't need medical automatons. It's fine. So, the main thing to do now would be to, I think, prepare for that next heat drop. Because now we have all the resources that we need, so. Uh, that would be infirmary and hothouse insulation. So let's start with a hothouse insulation to start. We'll do that one first, and then we're actually we should do the heaters. Uh, well, we'll do both. Why not? We, we have lots of time. All right, we can now disassemble this guy. Why not both? All right, so that's all done. The food's ready to go. We have two thousand rations. Uh, wasn't there a guy over here that was supposed to be doing something? Why is he? Okay, whatever. I thought I had a... Uh, no, I do have a free one. I think he just became free. Or not, because he's not free. Oh, no, it needs two automatons. Sorry, I misread that. All right, there you go. They're on their way. Call for New Manchester. The supply of food we sent should get them through the storm, but the New Manchester won't su uh, survive without a sufficient supply, a coal supply for their generator. We've estimated the amount they'll need, and it doesn't look good. Let's do what we can. So this is 6,000 coal for automatons, and that's it. So we gotta send out a lot of automatons. Change of heart. Sir, the engineers who opposed your decision to help New Manchester are here once again to see you. We promised to focus on our mission. You stayed true to your word. We're, we're sorry you doubted uh, you. It seems that we all have a chance of helping after all. We'll do whatever it takes. Okay, thanks a lot. So infrastructure kept attacked. You convince the people that you can help New Manchester without endangering your mission. They trust you completely and are willing to follow you as long as necessary. Cool. So we can now divert to coal entirely. Oh, so we need 500 root food rations for ourselves as well. That's also something that we're going to have to do. So, but that, that, that's why we have the two things. I may have to make the factory again, because I just realized if I disassemble one of these hothouses, then that will be important. Uh, I need more heaters. Proof heaters, that's the one. So, I may go do that. I have three cores actually right now, so let's 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 put that back in then. I've, I've made up my mind. I kind of disassembled it prematurely. That's my bad. I shouldn't have done that. Voice of support. We found a letter from you. It's unsigned. Sir, I wholeheartedly uh, support your decision to help New Manchester. I know many others who do, but they will only admit to it in private, who were shamed into silence of the, uh, by those who see compassion as a weakness. I'm glad I'm not alone. Well, it's kind of nice. It, it, it kind of like, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside for doing the right thing, you know, which is kind of, which is kind of fun. Warm and fuzzy. Uh, let's see. I may have to divert. I'm going to have to divert someone to go make some more automatons. Proof here is researched. Alright, we can do heat efficiency upgrade. That would probably be a good one. Uh, although the one coal I'm sure is not breaking the bank, to be fair. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, uh, we kind of have all the other sciences we kind of need at this point, so we're kind of good on that now. It's just about, like, we need to get, we need to min-max our coal now, so. And we got a couple days, so, like, not sending out automatons is actually probably worth it to do. Oh, did I actually do the, uh, I did not, I don't think I did the infirmary upgrade. Technically, we don't need it, because we actually have, we have, we have heaters now. We have level two heaters, so. You, you don't really need the infirmary, actually, so. I guess I won't bother with it. You just have to heater it. Does this actually use it when there's nobody inside of it? I wonder if it does. Uh, where is it at? Oh man, there's a lot of things here. Workshop, public home, advanced coal mine, medical post. Care house. Yes, it is. It's negative one coal per hour. Okay, so it does actually use it. There you go. Alright, let's do another level of 
So there's like, yeah, so we don't bother with the range upgrades in this mission because there's so little housing that you don't need it. So it's really just about making sure we have enough heaters and all that kind of fun stuff, so. I'm just letting the coal kind of cap out a little bit here while I do research. Because those four, those four automatons could do something else. Our city's ready for a storm. Now all we have to do is wait and hope that we have done enough to survive those poor bastards in Manchester, though. So it doesn't end right away. It just keeps it open right now. Because what it's telling you is that, okay, you get one, you can send them over there. You, you can help them out. And there's really not much of a reason not to, like I said, so. I'm just, I'm just kind of waiting it out because I'm, I'm letting it do research for now. When might coal max out? That's a good reason to go. Coal needed. Sir, a man from New Manchester has come. He wants you to help the, uh, he wants you to help the people of the city. Do you have enough coal to help New Manchester? Without it, they may not survive the uh, coming storm. Is there anything more valuable than human life? We'll see what we can do, or our mission has a higher priority. So we'll say, we'll see what we can do. Because you know we are going to do it. We have five, we have five full days, so we're we're pretty good on that. Yeah, there's another guy long long as a toil. We won't do we won't do anything about that because I don't care. So our, our resources are kind of full, so we can actually send that out. But I'm just kind of waiting for more coal to come in because I figure why not. Okay, advanced heater is completed. Let's see, what's a good one to do? So like I said, overdrive couplings, all that kind of stuff, and eh, not that important. Remember, we, we're not actually going to like there is a storm coming, but yeah, we don't we don't actually get to do the storm. It's just preparing for said storm. So yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this so like I say it's just it's just coal at this point is the only thing that we're trying to do just trying to see here if there's anything that's really worth it but because this would require a steam core which you don't need we could also do the healthcare insulation so I think it's at this point it's, it's whatever you want for insulation uh, or overdrive couplings or oh, actually you know, making the generator burn less coal that's a, that's not a bad idea although it only burns like 24 an hour so it's not a huge bonus actually now I come to think about it uh, they're talking about cold homes. I will heat some homes, because what I'll do is I'll just do another upgrade of insulation for the homes. But that's it for the that's that for the cold. This is as cold as it gets. That's it. That is some that is some cold weather freezing. <laughs> you would think that the health bar would go down faster, but it really doesn't, so. It just it's just a consistent slow speed. Alright, I think we're at the point now where we can now send them out, so. One, two, three, and four, somewhere here. There we go. And there you go, that's it. That's the last expedition. You can see the storm is still coming in. New Manchester cared for. There are tears of gratitude in the eyes of the people of New Manchester as the final transport reaches the city. We did what we could, their, their hate, fate is out of our hands now. Uh, I guess I don't need a guy working over here, so I'll just put him onto research. Just he's been kind of sitting there. Actually, we have a lot of automatons. What? Did I like divert too many off? Oh, I think I fin. I think I finished them. That's why. That's okay. In fact, I don't need. I don't need all this either. I just realized. It's like an, an operative. All right, let's go here. Final effort. With New Manchester secured, we can focus on our mission again. The doubtful engineers have come forward. Sir, we may have disagreed with you, but we're prepared to put it behind us. <laughs> Maybe you are. I, I'm vindictive as fuck. You don't even know me. Uh, for better or worse, uh, we're ready for the final push uh, uh, for full remission. I'm just saying this is going to be a long blizzard, okay? I'm just going to be smug as fuck in the back there. You know? <laughs> hey, guys, remember when, remember when you guys want to kill New Manchester? Yeah, that was good times. <laughs> you guys remember that, right? I remember that. And another steam generator upgrade. At this point, we're just waiting for the uh, the coal to come in. So uh, yeah, let's do another healthcare installation, or or our only one. So, so you can see this is why it's my favorite mission. I just love dealing with the Tom Tons, uh, and even even with my my slight mistakes, didn't matter. It's 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 the same on uh, the extreme difficulty as well. It, it's not not a big issue. So, oh uh, yeah, healthcare installation. So, oh yeah, home installation. I was gonna do that. I just remembered now. They just want it to be level. In fact, I don't even think it's gonna matter because I think it's gonna end. Because we have we have a lot of coal coming in, so. Oh no, no, we need eight thousand coal. Sorry, it's gonna take a little bit to do. It's probably another day, and that's it. So, we had about like three days of buffer, I'd say. So that's that's kind of how much it gets to you. So there you go. At least level con condition. So it's it's perfectly fine with it. So. And that's it.
Actually, that uh, since the hot house is right beside it, it's fine. What was I complaining about? So I don't know why there's so many people in in care. Why are there so many people sick? Are they going somewhere? They oh, do you know why? It's because they're in the fighting arena. The fighting arena makes them sick. Oh well, I could I could just throw down another uh, medical post over here or something. Because I have like people not doing anything anyway, so. So yeah, everything made it to New Manchester. They're perfectly fine. That's it. It says they didn't update the description. It says very little chance of surviving the storm. All of you, all of you know, I gave you the best chance you could possibly have. Healthcare insulation. Eh, yeah, we don't need house redesign. So, if you, yeah, infirmary isn't really necessary. Even though it might be okay on this mission, but that that one steam core could just go into anything else. And you notice at the end here, we just like we have way too many people here anyway. So, long guards of twelve. Don't care. Because it doesn't even raise discontent by that much. It doesn't even matter. It goes away, like, instantly. So I still did it with Sue. That's why the Sawdust is kind of could be okay, because the Sawdust, you would have... I, I basically would have been comfortable not making that last one there, so... That, like, the, that that was the only reason I was a little bit uncomfortable. I don't remember ever doing this on with Soup. so... Supplies ready. We've gathered enough supplies to survive the storm. Everything else has been taken care of. Excellent. Final test varsity begins. Hope we did enough. And yeah, it's kind of a cop out. Like I, like I mentioned, like uh, as for mentioned, we don't get to actually do the storm part again. So we did our best. There was nothing we could do. So yeah, that one is definitely OP from the perspective of just automatons are really, really good. That's that's really what it comes down to. They're really good. So I'm, and I'm also glad we didn't we still didn't lose anybody, despite the fact that that guy glitched out. So I guarantee you, with the with the release version of this game, that guy would have died. I, they definitely have some some kind of protection in there to realize that there's someone who's supposed to be on an expedition that isn't, and they and they heal him and, and take him out. So. So, because there, like I said, there is some glitches. And that guy, that guy, I wasn't even, I don't think I was even abusing that one. The other ones I abused and, and uh, purposely sent them out because they were sick. That guy, I don't think I did. So, and that's always annoying for people who are just like, they're trying to do deathless, right? So, and deathless is one of those things that's like, you don't have to do it. It's just a part, it's just a fun challenge, right? Uh, to to kind of do it, so. But yeah, that, that, that was that arc, so that was... Uh, yeah, that was a lot shorter. <laughs> I look at my recordings, it was like a two hour video, but it's, it's like I said, I think it's one of the best ones. Uh, it's one of the most fun ones for me because I just I just like automatons. They're, they're really great for me. So I just love playing around with them and, and doing things with them. So, but this is like the last mission. So in case you're like concerned that you're like, oh, is it just going to be always automatons? No, this is like the last automaton mission I think we'll get. I think Winter Home does have them and that's it. So... Refugees doesn't. New, uh, the uh, last autumn certainly doesn't, and the last one on the edge doesn't have automatons either. So that's why you you kind of got all your automatonness in, and they are like they are OP 
and now we don't get them anymore so the challenges become a little bit more in tune with why i chose hard to begin with so but that one yeah that one's a that one's a fun one and a short one and just a just really great so that one's a really fun overall so i'm trying to go for one of these a week so uh i guess i'll see you guys next week and i'll have another one for you then so refugees is coming next next guys so thanks a lot guys but again peace have a good one